We were talking about our old coach. Um, he, we won't name him, but he, um, one of them wanted us to. He paused the. Was it a scrim? He paused the scrim because he paused the scrim and he turned everyone around. He's like, "Take your headsets off. Turn around. Like, look at me." And he's like, "What just happened, guys? What just happened?" And, and no one knew what happened. He said, "Hanser got a solo kill," and no one hyped him up. No one said good job. <laughs> no no good way. Shit. This is not how a team operates. And Peter was like, I was in a trade. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. Yeah. No, no, that actually happened. It's, That's uh, it was so cringe. Insane. That's shit. one of the Sorry, dumbest things I've heard. It was too fucking funny, bro. Oh, we got the Ash Heimerdinger again. Is Heimer just busted <clears> or what? Blind this time. I think Death and Barrel just fucking love this lane, dude. I, I mean, think it's Viper a good lane for Grave because you just perma push and like perma find yeah. the enemy jungler with Hawkshot and Graves can yeah. just invade. True. It's also strangely like a pretty ungankable lane. I was thinking about it's gankable if you play some shit like Leona where your engage doesn't get affected by turrets. But if you play like quick stuff, then it's not great. Dude, it's so hard to hit Heimer with skill shots because he gets that move speed near his turrets too. Oh, it's crazy, yeah. yeah. Just zoom in. Wait, so much movement speed? Like 20% or something? Wait, is that much? It's a lot. He gets a lot of movement speed, yeah. Damn. Usually the owner plays really well against mages though because they don't have dashes and mages usually run not clans. So it's it's definitely playable. I think people just opting to play range support some more though. Saber Soraka. Ew. <clears throat> That's just getting pushed in and scaling. Holy shit, do you see that win rate? What the fuck? Okay, never mind. I'm um, pretty sure what? that's Yumi's win rate without the loss. Pretty sure Yumi is oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What else are you going to do against Ashheimer though? Can you actually beat that lane? Hmm. That's a great question. I don't know. I would have maybe thought about just doing like a karma lane, but all the champs that are good with karma kind of suck. I haven't seen Ezreal in a while, but it doesn't seem great. I guess you could play like Jin Karma. I don't know. That sounds pretty useless. I would actually rather be Ashheimer there. Maybe it's just too hard to contest it in lane. Oriana? Oh, I thought Azir well, was the doesn't really get pushed point. against. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to get pushed against Azir as Ori. I feel like you want something that can push or contest for graves. It's so what? fucking interesting that all the LCK teams think about draft like really similarly now. Like the <clears throat> DRX T1 and Gen G play stuff like this. It's just like five carries. Yeah. No real tanks, but... Doesn't... I would not love to play Orianna in this comp, but... I don't think I'd want to play yeah. either play really comp, well. dude. EDG is like... Cannon is their only real CC. I think the meta is just leaning towards this now where... It, it, it just comes down to like, if one of your team... If one of people, like one of the carries dies, it's just up to the rest of them to just do like max damage. Mm-hmm. As opposed yeah. to like having I a can meatball. Definitely see... Yeah, maybe playing the game at the highest level. These comps are good if everyone is just playing super well individually. To me, it kind of seems like they they care about lane matchups and whatnot way more than like the actual comp they have, like how well their champs go together. Yeah. Mm. I, I keep thinking about this Ashheimer thing, and it's like, I like the concept, but I hate the idea of playing Ash with Hail of Blades. What would you rather have? Like, I just think, like, Senna would be really strong with Heimer, and letting Heimer take the farm, because, like, Ash with Hail of Blades taking farm is, like, I don't know. You're not locked into going Hail of Blades, huh? Oh, you, you probably should. You probably should. Because you're never going to proc lethal tempo. And uh, look, look at this comp. I, I don't think you're ever going to get more hey, than that. Like, why, why don't you like Halo Blades then? If something else is good. I, I, I just think the champ Ash is just so bad. Maybe, maybe 
Look at him. Holy shit. Look at him. Oh my god, ass is popping off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, I, you know what? Fuck I, it. It, it, it seems like what you were saying, like, they just pick it to legit force prio. Like, just uh, not a whole lot you can do to this comp. Yeah. Bot lane. You just get pushed in. There, there is not a lot that any champs can do against Ash with Hail Blades level one and, and approach. Like you're you're actually just never gonna win that, especially with range disadvantage. But even if you're playing like Kayla or Felius, you will just lose. Yo. 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 So is this Ash Heimer counter to Kalista just turned into a good bot lane? Wait, was it originally counter to Kalista? I thought it was just yeah, a good. Duo. They were only playing it into Kalista. Huh. It was like, like a response to Kalista. Because it's, it's, it's not even better against Kalista than it would be against like a Felios or MF. I feel like it's just as scary to play, uh, you know, all the other AD carries into this. Because when you start getting pushed in, it's so fucking hard to break the cycle. Where were you with Heimer support was the best? <laughs> this really reminds me of like that one season with like MF support. Mm. What did the whole point of it? played Kaisaheimer, right? Uh, yeah, that was totally grief. I don't know why they that. That must be bad. His man was just ahead of his time. That yeah. cannon ult. With. It zoned him <clears> off the wave though, so it, it was hit the pretty minions, good. It hit the minions. Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah. He he got a lot of farm there. King and Ghost down. Isn't it crazy that he rushed Merc Treads? I guess it's just really good for lane and he has Ghost, so... It's hard to kill. What would double lift to rush? Oh, I don't know, I've just never seen a, a, a Merc Treads rushing Fiora. It's, it's probably good. I keep seeing that shit. That world's like mid and yeah, mostly mid rushing Merc Treads too. Damn, this this Lee Sin is actually putting in a lot of work. He's dead even in farm, and this trade is so much better for the team that gets Herald. Are you surprised by the, how the bot lane's going, even with TP uh, servers a bit behind? No, it's that's expected. I think this is, this whole thing is an expected act. I wouldn't even. Like the thing is, if I was playing Ashheimer, I would I would not even really be that sad if I was um, down or up CS because it doesn't really feel like it matters. Like you know, like Ash with like a like ten or twenty more CS than enemy to carry, it's not like really that big of a difference. I feel like it's more important how like Heimer's game is is going, mm. and also how like you know your team is working. With your hawk shots and stuff. Yeah, I, I wonder if part of it's like you, you have like crazy kill pressure at six, right? If you hit an arrow and then Heimer does his alted W, it's yeah. pretty much a one shot. Yeah, I think yeah. they could they could definitely one shot with ignite. I think Miko is playing with fire here. He gets hit by arrow. So is Barrel. He's like hugging that side where Lee Sin could be wrapping him from. Like he has no idea if Lee Sin is just. Oh, he does. He does. He has an idea. I'm trolling. There's a word over. Ten minutes, no kills. Okay, that was very strange. Oh, get the spell shield for free. Maybe he had an internal clock about spell shield still being down. He's like off by a few seconds. Oh, oh my god. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Heimer, dude. What do you think happens first? Dragon Soul or First Blood? <laughs> what the? Look at Ash. Fuck, this dude. Ash champ is broken. That's. Oh, he spell shielded. He spell shielded. Work. Shoot the arrow. What am I saying, guys? Ash does giga damage. This bot lane looks so annoying to play against. Wow. Yeah. That... That was not a real flash. Was it not? He didn't know. There, you, no way you would know if you're in if you're in kill threat there from Heimer. Like Heimer could just literally fucking one tap. He has a pink. Like he can no, no, see no, no, lane from, from river from river. He can't hit like from Heimer river. 
I think you can get chained there. Flash fucking grenade. Yeah, it, it, w, it, seemed, it seemed like a good flash <laughs> to me. Uh, Holy shit, doesn't know! I feel like Graves is not very useful when the enemy team is 5 ranged. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of play differently. I wonder if he's still going to go gore in this kind of game. Because a lot of times, if they outrange you as Graves, you just go like heavy lethality and then you, you're you mostly there for like, you yeah. know, one shot. Or And I mean, Smoke Bomb's really good too. Yeah. Apparently you can't. He's losing R so many flash. Or sorry, RW flash. Timer. It'll come out at the end of your flash. Oh really? So it can't you can redirect, dude? There's like so many random like flash. Oh my oh, god, Mako's oh, just gonna hit oh. with everything. Oh. oh my god, he can't move, dude. He has been getting nailed with like fucking forty skill shots this game. Oh. Oh wow, Wait, Viper's getting good. That's just going in. Maybe. No, no. Tough, 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 tough. He's a flash. He's so brave. Oh he had Maybe oh, two brave. Oh. Holy. Holy. Dude, Scout is playing this so scared. Why does he not want to go in? He has ult. Yeah, he's kind of winking. Uh oh. Wait, what? Oh Carol didn't my that. god. I heard you talking shit. Oh yeah. no. Why is he playing so scared? He's waiting. That's crazy uh, that he huh. didn't react though. Yeah, that was uh, quite the Heimer play. And the Ash. Dude, like, like, it all started with Mako making that play where he's just like, his mid is clearing the wave and Ori's not showing and he decides to ward right then. And then he, <laughs> <laughs> he just gets fucked. Oh, what, what the? If you are W, the cannon stun or what? Okay. Oh yeah, it was Kennen stun onto the. Oh, I didn't you got some love for W. Stun, stun. Holy shit! This is literally the weirdest fight from both sides. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Zeka is completely useless at this point. I think Flander should die there too. Barrel just uses his bomb on Kennen, or is like more grouped on the reengage. Oh! Wow! Nice flash by him. I guess he couldn't get the kickoff. Wait, wait, wait. So if you if you can redirect Lux ulti with R flash, can you re-aim it that way? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Like if the, if you see the juke and then you just like flash to like... That's so crazy. I've never seen that in my life. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's still the case. I remember there was a point where Luxes were like ulting backwards and then flashing to redirect yeah. it. So like you yeah, literally so wouldn't no see reaction. the laser just get nailed by it. Wait, what? I don't know if it's still in the game. They might have taken it out because it was really oh. sus. Yeah. Oh, apparently they changed it back on Lux some time ago. They fixed it. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I thought I remember the Cassio it. one. It was a little bit too broken that Cassio could R backwards and then flash forward. Oh, Barrel is oh. actually getting so oh, flash. Oh my god. Wait, but the fight looks good. Yeah, well, looks good. I think you're in. Oh, never oh, never mind. mind. He just Scout walks away. Killing everyone, though. Oh! Dude, playing Fiora into a zero CC must be so nice. Well, Viper went crazy. He's gonna get. Oh! Wow. Well, Scott is oh, no. so wow. much damage this fight. I feel like he oh, catches here. 100%. Oh god, He has yeah. arrow up. I don't know if he has mana though. No. Oh. Wow. Barrel is choking a little bit. Yeah. Mm. They got zero value out of arrow as well. Does that want to choke? I mean, he just got important. scooped with no flash. I mean, his, he trolled his flash beforehand. Yeah. Positioned was... too far up without it. I would call it choking, yeah. No replay? Azir and Kennen are both massive, dude. They both watch Shadow Flames. 
They're on a big spike. I feel like Ori would I think playing no DRX is comp in team fights now that you're not ahead anymore. It's so hard. Yeah. Ash arrow. Get a shoot. Who would you aim for, Sneaky? There's a big ass clump if your team wants to go in. You do it on Oriole. But 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 Viper is going to just face tank. Viper is playing to... so forward. Yeah, he's mm. playing the tank. He, he he they need to do it at a time where if he spell shields the ash arrow he still gets hit with like oriolt or something or heimer grenade yeah i was yeah. thinking that they could send in the heimer oh, grenade the to like re i think we'll need to walk forward now. this is the I'll time this deal. Okay. they got drag wow it's a heist it's so hard to it's say really who, to who, who just really outranged the other team it's like there's like a couple members on both teams that have crazy range, and then the rest of them are just like standing there. That's a big win. I feel like it's pretty even poke. I mean, neither side is too powerful. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? He went. Okay. Swifties. It's also going rapid fire. Yeah. This is a truly zero damage build. Kind of hard for Sivir to hit as well this game, though, no? Yeah, she's these, not that. These kinds of champs? Oh, oh 100%. So hard. Like, I don't even feel like Sivir's teammates me. are benefiting so. that much from her ulti. As much yeah. as like other comps can. We got to drag it in 30 seconds. Oh, soul, actually. Yep. Low barrel. Holy moly. <clears throat> He's playing so it far. doesn't even matter anymore. I think. Look at how DRX so... is playing this setup. It's very interesting. They're playing on like four different angles. Yeah. I think this is how you have to play with these comps. You you can't play together because your champs don't really have enough tools. So you just slowly What's pressure from every angle. Mm. You like look for small opportunities to like land poke or just pincer people. What do you think it's because EDG doesn't have hard engage? Like you can't get punished if they just run at you? Mm, yeah, I think it's a big part of it. And it's also just, I think the ocean map, especially, there's so many bushes. It's a lot easier to play like this. Oh, scouts hit. No. Oh. oh, God. Oh my god, that scoop. Oh. Fiora just assassinated Soraka. Yeah, but it, it, and he's going. His teammates got assassinated. Wow. Holy. Alright. Maybe his ears is broken. Uh, could be. This guy's quite strong. So. Pretty insane so many good scoop. I, I was only watching the Fiora flank. I didn't actually see what happened on the other side. Yeah. I feel like they're all ready for the scoop. But yeah. they still cannot play it. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Like again. fly in and then flash. I guess they. And... I guess they just don't have enough CC to like. Cause he flies in, and they flash, and he just flashes after them and ults them back. Yeah, this is a weird game where like both teams don't actually have <clears throat> CC or front line. I mean, yeah. they, they have some, but DRX. I mean, they had an okay engage on the Azir. Just didn't really have follow up. Yeah. Hit him with an arrow right in their face and no punish. Oh, dude. Uh, the I really trolled that, that, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That scoop was nasty. Yeah. I feel like the people on the left didn't want to believe that they were going to get scooped there. Like, it, it, it looks like it shouldn't really hit yeah. them. <laughs> Azir's ult has such a fucky hitbox sometimes. You get level 16, you just scoop the whole river, like the entire lane. Oh, does, does it get fatter as you level up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It gets way oh. fatter. Doesn't it get like I three, see, four, or five soldiers in the row? <laughs> uh, I'll look it up. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like one soldier on each side per level, maybe. Or per six, upgrade. Seven, eight, apparently. Oh, it's six, seven, eight. Yeah. I think it's six, seven, eight. If I recall correctly. Mm. True. Thank you for that. 
Playing Orianna in this combo is so hard. I feel like Orianna wants to play around like tanks and frontliners. <laughs> you don't have a single one on your team. <laughs> I mean, the whole comp in general is just. I I'm curious, like, what do you think their comms are during these setups? Like, I don't know. You're always going for the every man for himself. Like, everyone just fucking try to find a good angle. Yeah, just, just mute Discord. Just do your own thing. Solo queue it. Yeah, Loki, like, just keep your eyes peeled. And if something good happens, just get ready to follow up. But yeah, I don't understand the Gordon Crew Graves this game either. Like, no way you're going to get value with that build this game. Nah. Dude, I, like, I, to me, watching World so far, Piosik has looked like a fairly weak link across all the teams remaining. I think mm. if I was DRX, I wouldn't want this guy on Graves. I, would, I wouldn't trust him to carry. He played really well on Graves, though. He had those really shit games uh, where he's playing like Sedge and he's just a bot. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm sure he's, you know, not Wait, why horrible Kenan, or something. Kenan's playing like he can win this 1v1. Yeah, it's a counter pick. Oh! <laughs> Fiora's busted. Just walks away? Sprints away, he got ghost. Fiora Wincon still lives? Yeah. Do you guys remember, like, one of the most creative plays that existed for a while was, like, you're behind and you send somebody to, like, shadow the split pusher so that when somebody comes to, like, catch him or push him out, then there's actually, like, people behind him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what if that's what they need to do uh, to win? Because they can't win regular fights, but, like, what they could do is... Get a timing where the enemy team is responding to Fiora in the side, and then like Graves is just there. Mm -hmm. And then the Dude. the stack mid didn't ever confirm if Graves was <clears throat> defending the base or not. I almost wanted to see Fiora just TP top there for tempo off his recall. It, it'd be like oh, kind of troll. No. I, I don't know, dude. I, th I feel like it wouldn't be that bad. Well, if, if they're playing to give up the drag anyways, it's not bad. I, mean, I, I just don't think you can fight it. I think even if your TP's in, like it's not going to do anything. Yeah. I think your only hope for this game, if you're DRX, is just playing for the Fiora split. <laughs> I, oh, I dude, they're doing the strat. Here comes Heimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like they should just hide. But like, if he shows, it'll give the enemy team a lot of info. Ah, uh, he showed. Yeah, yeah, but like, it, it's well, like, what, what do you really do here now? Because like, oh, he doesn't get the Fiora W. Oh. oh. Oh, the only hope is he getting the Fjord W on the Azir yeah. ult there. Oh my god. Wow. I mean, Viper, for fun, is flash a little bit. I guess that's a potential window. Yeah, I don't know. It like, doesn't explode right now, yeah. That's why I was kind of liking the idea of TPing, just because like, you, you only really hold your TP if you want to join the yeah. fight, right? But yeah, I, I, I don't think there's any world you win a fight. Like, you just... Oh, second he's like so high now. Wave. Oh, maybe he doesn't need to ult the wave. Maybe it's just okay. Uh -huh. Oh god. F is uh pretty forward. They don't <clears throat> end here, there's no minions. They're coming. Wait, what? Dude, did he oh. not just he they're tr they're trolling! Oh they're trolling, they're trolling! I, I think they end I though. Stayed. Maybe. Damn, damn, damn. Maybe. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Wow. What Just a like weird that. game. Okay, <laughs> but yeah. what Lee Sin did where he queued into the fucking fountain was just so stupid. Like, if oh, we he into the lost fountain? that game, I would have been so mad. <laughs> <clears throat> That's one of those games that, like, if you're EDG's bot lane, that game doesn't feel like a win. <laughs> they actually just got stage 4 COVID from that bot lane experience. Mm. Yeah, but you need to keep a. Uh, I feel like, keep, like a, yeah, a I don't know about that. I don't think they picked Cyber Saka to actually try to lane, right? No, no, know. definitely not. It's a it's a hold it down bot lane angle, and then like we'll help the team with Soraka ults, and eventually yeah, yeah. Cyber outscales. Definitely outscale. I just mean it's so unpleasant to have to lean against that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. With his.
it's <clears throat> pretty reminiscent of playing versus like Kate Lux, where, but with way less kill pressure, because uh, you can actually die in lane against Kate Lux. But it's just like you're weathering the storm, and even when you win the game, it doesn't feel great. Yep. <clears throat> it's a fucking mid diff. <laughs> Diffy in the movie. I don't know. Did Zucka really even play bad though? Dude. I, I think, think playing Orianna in this game is so miserable. He fucking whiffed. Like, in that fight we were looking at, the dragon. <clears throat> oh, like, yeah. Not ulting off the arrow is pretty grief. Yeah. Like, that, that would have really done good. so much damage and probably interrupted the, well, you know, like, prevented yeah. the shuffle. That's true. That's, like, the one thing you can play around as Ori this game is the Ash Arrow and the Heimer nade. Yeah. It's, like, their only initiation. It kind of to pray that that will land. And it did land, so... <laughs> that's true, that's true. My chance is he was rock of silence when the arrow was shot. I don't know. I mean, he he queued in a different position. It wasn't in range. Uh, I see. See? Hmm. I think that, that's just... That was a Pulling misplay. And was like, not silenced. He just kind of griffed. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'm never listening to chat again. I was gonna Fucking say like I Twitch think chat. Syndra and Ori, like seeing Syndra yesterday and Ori today, they, they just kinda got outpaced by the rest of the champs. I mean this game I would rather have a Syndra than an uh Ori probably in this game. Oh wow. Well. At least At least it'd be more close. I think yesterday yeah. the Syndra didn't really fit either. But I think Azir and Victor are just more Consistent picks. What happened to Corky? There hasn't been a single Corky in a while. Is he just dead? I think the games are pretty fast paced at Worlds, and Corky's like a complete potato until 20 minutes, 18 minutes. And you don't even have package for the first Herald contest anymore, so. What the? No? Oh, wait, when do you get first package? 10 minutes? They fucked the sinking with dragons, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's like if you use the package before the dragon dies, then it's going to be up for the next one, but it's going to be up like right as the dragon is about to spawn. But if the dragon dies first and you use your package, it's not going to be up. It does. So it still somewhat works, but not consistently. As wheel. Oh, dude, I was just saying that's not a champ, but if anyone's going to make it a champ, it's def two. The as dinger lane. Is it real? Such a classic combo as Dinger. Right up there with Zyra Khan, Kate Morg. <laughs> Just a classic played around the world. Nami as Dinger. I feel like the comps are more standard this time on both sides. Yeah. The Heimer Lulu matchup is pretty popular. Oh, well, it's <laughs> <for> the Heimer <laughs> Dinger. <laughs> No, yeah, the, the the way the comps play is totally like, yeah, yeah, normal. It's easier to envision like how the comps team fight. Honestly, if if this like how they Ezreal interact. Heimer was Lucian Nami, <clears throat> this would be like a pure meta fucking draft. But um, I I really like EDG's comp more. It just it just makes more sense. It's also pretty fucking hard to play. Yeah, probably into Lulu, right? It's hard, yeah. I, I think I like EDGs more. I think it depends how the Jax into Aatrox does. I think that's kind of like a feast or famine matchup. Oh, wow. This is crazy because Flandre is the one who played both sides against Fudge and shit on him both sides. So it's either a skill matchup or or he got like a read because he's like better that he, he can play this side too. He's just fucking better. It just feels like Aatrox is he so won broken. Both, he won both sides without jungle interaction? Mm, I didn't notice heavy jungle interference. If anything, Fudge was getting camped for, and he still lost. Oh, the longsword refill on Jax. That feels kind of cocky. That very cocky. Does seem pretty <clears throat> cocky. I mean, Dor isn't Dorn so totally second insane? As well? Pretty OP lane, yeah. <clears throat> I heard though that um, Doran's shield doesn't proc very well off of Aatrox because his Q's count as AoE abilities, so it's one third effectiveness. Wait. Huh. Really? Holy moly. Yeah. 
Dude, oh Barrel always God. does this, by the way. He just wa wait. wait. So he, he just runs it down every time? Basically <laughs> dies, level one. <laughs> That's pretty good. Good play, good play by him. <laughs> I mean, I, I assume that strat works a lot better with an Ash and not an Ezreal. Yeah, that's true. I kind of miss the draft. How doesn't get affected by AOE? I thought it did. Yeah, no, my chat's trolling. It is 60, reduced to 66% effectiveness by AOE. Hmm. Or dots. Yeah, makes sense. Zeka on Akali is a win con though. This guy's pretty fucking cracked on melees. I, I think he's better at melee champs than mages for sure. He was just completely cracked on Silas and Akali early on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit of Yone as well. Is he well? supposed to be nine creeps up? I guess he's only like five. Yeah, I don't think so. What about the Ghost Felios? Ghost Felios? Uh, yeah, I'm not... I'm not an expert on the matter. I feel like Ghost on AD carry was it, a flash in the pan. Yeah, I think it was, it was super, super until specific until the... Or, like, it was only on Zeri server because of the way they worked. Ooh? Ooh? Big CC Ooh. chain? He's... He's fucked. Yep. Damn, nice gank. I like... I like that Flandre didn't jump in with E. I feel like most Jaxes would do that, and then King would be ready to flash. Because, like, then he's getting double value off the flash. He's flashing the stun and the Sedge Q. Oh. Like, he just jumped in hmm? naked, and then... Oh, oh my god! Oh! Barrel actually just goes down like that, huh? Yeah, he gets screwed. And then they still get the wave crash. Was secretly a Heimer support one trick. What's the point of being Heimer if you're not even winning lane? <laughs> I don't know. But so, what happened in draft? How did they end up with Heimer but not Ash? Ash was banned. Ash was banned, and they, and they, they just yeah. Did the Ezreal replace they that? Saw, they saw they saw Aphelios. It was R4 Aphelios, and then they went Ez Heimer, and then they last picked Lulu. I don't know why they picked Ez. Heimer against Aphelios. <clears throat> Damn, it almost seemed like Lulu could have lived there if he flashed the poppy stun. Oh yeah, he definitely could have lived. It was a no flash poppy. So he had a lot of time to react. I do, dude, this Jax counter pick has not looked good in like a single time. Jax is also kind of particularly bad against all of the Rx's champs. The Heimer counter pick. Oh, Akali TP on tower. I like that. I like that TP. Oh. He he knew that. that oh my god. The first move oh, that was a fat scoop. Oh, good okay. Akali. Good. Holy oh wow. Shit. How is there a two level gap between top and mid? How much XP did Jax know. miss this game? Okay, now he's finally six. We've almost never seen Jax like actually have good CS in any of these games. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? He just R2'd in for fun. Did backward that w? just W backwards on purpose? <laughs> huh? Ooh, he gets it. Hey, he fucks him up too, no? Oh, uh, he did, yeah. His homies are on base. That'd be wiser anyway. I guess a long time ago they removed the thing where like if Sedge, Sedge can like give his teammates a buff from the bush. So you can like always tell when she's ganking top. I was wondering if that got changed. Mm, I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't know how it works. And I, I play Sedge and gank top like that quite a bit and I'm never sure. I feel like a long ass time ago you could either click on them or like it would just show the little like buff being added to them. Yeah, I, I think it's, 
flown out? I think it has been changed, I think but I don't know how it is. But like he, he I don't think, I don't think you see it, but I think if you if you click him, I think you can see it. But, I'm but not like, sure. wouldn't everyone just know that if Sedge is such a popular pick? He was lane ganking top earlier, and then he got surprised by Sedge Q. So yeah. like, I feel like. I no, know. I agree. Hey, maybe I, it's just I'm the initial. Maybe it's just the initial animation when he goes into the bush. So maybe. Oh, they can like oh, hide the animation. Oh wow, that's <clears> fucked up. Unlucky man. Okay, I think I think it's just like last series where they have two games giving Yumi. This is like two <laughs> games picking Heimer. Let's just, yeah, <laughs> the reverse. <laughs> Wow, this is a, <laughs> this is so awkward. What are they going for? Oh, he's just giving I mean, him the look. Oh no! How <laughs> they just let him queue out? What? <laughs> I'm definitely that, behind. I'm <laughs> that was the weirdest standoff I've seen in a while. Yeah. Yes. Is that esports betting? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Holy shit. Oh, oh my that's such a God. dirty flash. Oh my God. Impression. I mean, you guys yikes, didn't yikes, think that Barrel was a flash abuser, did you? <clears throat> oh, of course took not. took that death like a champ. Mm -hmm. He's not going to cheese. What about this death? He's going to take this one like a champ too? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's got his <laughs> turret, dude. This is a 2v2. Oh my God, and they win <laughs> oh it anyway? God. Bro? Dude, no one ever wants to fight mm -hmm. Barrel fair and square. Nah, this is Barrel's win up. trading. That's just what happens when you reach a certain age. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. It just becomes hard to flash walls and stuff. Your eyes and your hands just aren't as coordinated your eyes anymore. Like riddled hands. Yeah. They just can't handle it. <laughs> oh, I was trying to move my mouse down, but who did left? It happens. What the fuck is this Ez skin? Ez is ahead 1k gold. Is it His Force support one? is 0 and 3. No, I don't know, dude. Like, um, I don't want to be a barrel hater, but every time I watch this guy play, he's like kind of griefing. I must just miss the games he plays well. No, or yeah, you're, you're missing the games. He, he, he's him and Deft played really well together, actually. I don't think. Here, one thing is like, I don't think Deft is like, okay, bro, just pick the high redinger and let's lose in peace. Like, I actually think Deft is Deft is down with this shit. Probably. He's not down with this specifically, oh. but he... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Death is in, bro. He's, like... yeah. he's sitting there being like, bro, don't worry. Like, they're barely getting gold <laughs> off you at this good. point. <laughs> Sedge no ult. That's what you say right there. <laughs> My God. You, you say he wasted it. Sedge wasted his ult. He kind of did, though. Like, Barrel should start saying he's just a health bar, and actually Ezreal's ahead. Is it because the enemy team is committing so many resources? Think about it. Probably, he's just getting first strike gold while they're killing Barrel. Deft is eight, up 800 still, man. It's Heimer gap. Wow, actually, what the fuck? DRX is actually ahead in gold. You think he goes Rylize or Demonic? Is, is the entire gold lead literally just... Five play spot. I'm confused because top is top is behind, right? Aatrox is behind, and then jungle is definitely behind. Look at look at Poppy's items. I mean, so is is the, they're all up CS of the across the board? Death? Yeah. Did DRX get the first herald too? Because that that's 300 gold. Yeah, yeah. They they yeah. got it and then they dropped it. Bot. I mean, herald is just broken then because. Oh, I mean, it definitely is. Looking at how the game has been going and like legit a feeding Heimer support, I would not expect. Yeah, okay, so the entire gold lead is from Harold plus the plates. I mean, the nice thing is, even if you kill Barrel, like his turrets don't despawn, they, they keep shooting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge win con. Oh my oh. goodness. Oh. <clears throat> oh. That oh, looks hold like up. Aatrox is a good champ to leave open. Oh. Nope. Oh, but Barrel's on the flank. <laughs> Yo, the big nade. 
Dude, that's one EQ from Ezreal, bro. I don't... Can they really get out past Barrel? Wow. <laughs> Slam them so with a big grenade, Barrel. Don't let him out, Barrel. Woo! Get in that ass. Dude, he is... He's stepping up. Oh my oh, god. Dude, he's the really doing a lot. No, he's actually doing a lot. That's pretty fucking annoying to play against. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's good. That was like a Meteos Rex like canceling Virix and Recall level of commitment. Seven times in a row. That's more of a Nidalee play. It's kind of hard to see with Rek'Sai sometimes. Oh my god. Oh my no god. fucking way. But dude, he baited Gale Force for free. Got the, yeah. Viper actually wasted Gale Force. Bro. Look, his, his death spawn timer is like 18 seconds because he's so under leveled. <laughs> No, but he's so annoying, no? Like, the way he's playing is legit good if you're Heimer. What I would hate for him to do is go down 0-4 as Heimer support and then just say, okay, I'm AFK. Yeah, dude, he's definitely playing well. No, but like... <laughs> ah, fuck it, bro. I'm, I'm, com if I'm, def I'm pretty comfortable with my sports running it like this. I'm not even joking. Like, the game is pretty easy. Huh. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Huh. This is way better than him being 001. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not better than 00, but it's better than someone who just like starts having a bad game and then shuts down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, surely. <laughs> Yo. Dude, he needs to get in there. Barrel's walking up. Oh. Dude, he is just making space like none other. Oh. Oh wow. The nade, the nade. Oh, oh my nade god, he gets the start in Aphelios! Oh, he has no oh, gets force. Force. Killed it. Yeah, I should kill him. And he gets the no. shutdown. Yo, Barrel gets the shutdown, let's fucking still go. still down, by the way. Still down from the mid tier one. No, like, I'm not even trolling, bro. Him getting the Gale Force won them the game just now. Dude, it's... <laughs> so true. They're actually just walking into his trap oh, every no. time. It's it's it, like you can't calculate that. And shit. Viper, it's just... Viper even went ingenious hunter because he knew Barrel was gonna int before Dragon. Yes. So he, he tried to get the lower Gale Force cooldown, but Barrel still wins with his mind game. <laughs> didn't work out. Didn't work out. Fucking respect. <clears throat> this Aatrox champ just doesn't take damage. Yeah, he's just playing really well. That fucking grenade. Oh my god, he walked back into the grenade. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, that's true. Yeah. Barrel is 10 times more useful than the enemy Lulu in this game. That is actually true. 10 times, huh? Double of encouraging. 20 times. Feeding Heimerdingers and Solo Q across the globe. No, I, I but... really hope you get some high running your supports on your team. No, I would be down if they're good. If they if they're playing well, I'm down. Playing well. Playing this well. Oh, oh, five. <laughs> playing well is oh, five one, dude. Come Subjective on, don't shortchange him. Running. He canceled one playing. dude's recall and double ups on his cock. <laughs> Wait, he blew Gale for us, bro. Hmm, that's true. For free. The enemy did. You have to use something to kill him. <laughs> Okay, okay. You're probably right. He's he's kind of playing like shit, but it's just too funny to watch Heimerdinger win the game. It is. They might just have to ban the Heimer next game. I don't know. Yeah. So much impact. <laughs> Nothing we can do. We tried ganking him. You just he cannot be know shut down. That if, if Sword yeah. is in a series against Heimer support, he'll, he'll just be like, "Yeah, let's, look, we're look, just oh dude, my. we're just leaving it up every game." Oh, he's my. taking over. Oh my god, Viper, Viper can't play. Oh my god. He literally can't play cannot play. And you guys are talking shit about Barrel. Holy fuck! He's crazy. Viper's coach after this game is gonna be like, "Yo, I think we gotta bend Heimer." He's like, "You fucking kidding me?" No, we ain't I, would, I feel like Viper's Viper. probably like, fuck this, dude. Yes, no, if I was <clears> Viper, let me play against like, a real champ. This. It's so hard to play against, dude. Mm. I don't know. He's kind of beating off of it. I mean, he just got killed there. Oh, and the one before. Oh, what an ult. Clean, clean. Did Juani really let himself get hit by that, huh? 
weird. The team right around where they control the space incredibly well. Now Zay yeah. is looking for a pick of his own on the scout. Okay. Find it there. E are all gonna land with Oh Ooh. is this real? <clears throat> That's not barrel. Oh! Ew, Zeka played that about as bad as he possibly could have. Yeah. Holy shit. The star was nice. He actually got the RE, but. Yeah, that he tried to get the Q afterwards instead of just doing E2. Yeah. That range. I think if you like in a way to beat look. on the on the E, you just don't take it because then at that point, like Azir is for sure mentally prepped to scoop it. Mm. Sometimes I like watch Dota a, a little bit here and there, and their UI is just so much better. Like, imagine if you could, if on Twitch you could just like click on Heimer, <coughs> on Heimer and check his runes. Oh yeah, that cool. integration's insane. Yeah, you can, like see their abilities, how much XP they have, and it's like all on Twitch. Oh shit! Oh. King and flashed out with alt. This is actually a good start for EDG. Yeah. That's oh. Good. Uh, Zek is not getting any damage off either. EDG could get soul point if Pioche doesn't heal. They just got Heimer's flashed into that too. Wait, wait, wait so they got three so flashes. Does, does he have Warmogs? Who? Pioche, look at him. Yeah, he does. That was a pretty yeah. clutch buy. The fuck? He was one HP. Oh, by that blue orb. Oh, it's actually been terrible. <laughs> he hits two, yeah. Soul point for them. Wow. Can they get out though? Oh, wait. wait. Oh, Zeka has ult. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they're so far though. They can't actually follow. Oh. oh. Wow, they actually get out there. That was sus. I'm sweating balls if I'm DRX. It's actually wild that Aatrox with these items can just tank an entire team by dealing damage to them. That's pretty chad, yeah. This feels expedif. He's level 16. I guess everyone else is around there too. Oh. Yeah, it is weird. This game feels so close despite the gold being like almost 7k. Yeah, I think I think Ezreal's past the point where he's like flat out stronger than Aphelios. I, I would say AD carry strength is dead even when it's four items to three like this. What does he need to spike again? What's his last item? Uh, a gathering storm in a 60 minute game. Ah. <laughs> does he have it? Wow. wow. That was some crazy damage. Maybe I am wrong on that. He's probably stronger than Aphelios. Level 16 as ulti. I guess if he lands those. No gathering storm. Oh, you just looked? He probably mm -hmm. has Manifold Transcendence. Yep. No one's going Scorch on that channel. Nobody has Gathering Storm. Dude, I remember playing at MSI versus G2, and I was playing Kai'Sa, and I just randomly went Gathering Storm when the meta was to go, like, Boots and Cookies, and it paid off. Because I was just feeling like... Oh, oh, oh. Games are too slow. Does I want, like, the 60-minute matches? Yeah, it ended up being like crazy value gathering storm, absolute focus game. Just because I felt like that game, it was going to be a slow one. I, I would feel the same way this game. What are you talking about? Or sorry, what'd you say? I, I said, when, what was the timeline? Oh, it was against G2 in groups MSI 2019. I was playing mm. Kaisa versus Ez. It was like that meta. Uh huh. The EU versus NA final? Uh, yeah. The, the, I don't remember <clears throat> the final. Smelling it, it's smelling a little far away at this current world. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. He didn't get it. Holy shit. Flashin didn't get it. He doesn't, he doesn't even need to run, though. Wow. No, this turret's taking him out. He's just fucking dead. Holy fuck, the big B got him. I feel like Jax just looks so useless compared to Aatrox. Like oh, yeah, every major skirmish. Even though Jax has good items, it's just... I'm not convinced Jax is a real champion. 
I think he doesn't Jax even win lane on his own. I think Jax is good against non escape champs, but like if you're playing like MF or Aphelios, then Jax is actually pretty good. Ooh, I sold. Holy oh, shit! Oh, but he's he just got off fucking him. sliced. Alrighty. No. Oh. Looked good oh until God, it didn't. Why? Why? Why did? Uh, Wait, why did Viper, Viper didn't get guns? an auto off there? He didn't why did get he, an auto why did he off. switch guns? He, I think he fat fingered it. There's no way he meant to do that. Yeah. What a great game for Viper. What was that? Just auto Q R and one tapped him. Did he yeah. even auto? It was just QR, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you know, you can like auto queue at the same time, basically. Oh. It'll, it'll look like it's the same time if you auto first. Oh. And like all three instances of damage will come out at the same time when you auto QR? Because that should, that should very, look like... Very close. Very close to each other at least, yeah. Damn. I mean, it's also just Shadow Flame into Death Cap against Base MR. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of damage. Oh my god, Deft is caught. He is totally fucked. He has flash he though. Flash. Oh, oh! oh wow. he's, he's already up again? He's stalling it pretty hard. Oh. He played that pretty good. He played that pretty good. The enemy team can get Infernal Soul though. This is pretty bad for... Yeah, that was yeah. not very well timed. They need to win 4v5 right now. Like They need to just fight 4v5 or, or give Ooh. Infernal Soul. The nade? Oh. oh, there's no nade. I mean, yeah. they can have base pressure here. Can they even go drag? I think you definitely go they, drag. I, they, they definitely two man. Yeah, they're going two man drag, and then the rest of them defend the base. Oh wow! Oh, shit, Piosik's going for the drag. I think he's. Ooh. He's fucking solo. Oh Wait, what? Oh god. Oh, he get oh, on so too? oh god. No, he still has it. Jax oh. is actually doing stuff. It's now. a disaster everywhere. Oh god. Don't tell me DRX is actually gonna lose this game. Yeah, oh, they're gonna lose. Whoa! Oh, that oh, turret Jackson. doesn't. This is your turret. Dude, that was with Infernal Soul too, the pop proc. Yeah. Yep. Barely didn't kill him. I mean, what feels really bad is I think Def played amazing every point in the game except that one time he gets caught. But he got caught at a, such a bad timing. It might yeah. be fine, but makes it a lot more cringe. Are they trying to end right now? They have 40 know. seconds without a zero. I think it's possible. Jax yeah, is <laughs> no man right now. It, it depends on if Def... Cancel him, cancel him, cancel him. Def, Def oh. needs flamethrower. Oh, they don't see defend. him. Oh, no, they can't. They can't end. They can't end. Piper does. Sorry. They can't do shit. Yeah. Nope. Okay. So in these kind of games where like the enemy has soul, but like they're not gonna just completely keep you in your base because of soul. The only way the enemy team can win is by winning the elder fight. Yeah. You just kill elder. Yeah, you're probably not going to get much objectives. You're not like strong enough to force yourself, but you could take a flip fight on Elder. This is such a weird game, bro. Like, how often does a team that's like 10k gold down get soul? Like, four to one, by the way. Oh my god. Wait, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, wait, wait, is he? Wow. He's out. Oh my. <laughs> that was a pretty. Bro. That prediction by Viper was really, really nice. Like that he was gonna eat there. Sometimes I feel it just does some disgusting things. Is Viper just too fucking crispy? What the fuck? Holy shit! Yeah, was he was really nasty. sick with COVID two for a while. I guess he tested yeah. negative recently. COVID two. He's supposed to be There's fucking a second best COVID? in the world. Holy shit! Yeah, it's the sequel. <laughs> I guess, sure dude, the... so much of the goal is the turrets. It's yeah. 8 to 1. I'm pretty sure the narrative around Viper is that EDG pretty much only wins through him. And they... Yeah. Like, he's just their best player. I wasn't really seeing that earlier on, but... I mean, Scout's fucking owning. Scout's oh, like, well... Okay. I don't know. I don't think Jay... 
changes too much about how fast the fellas can kill you, but... Arxium seemed like a pretty weird buy, though, no? Yeah, I, I don't think I would ever buy Mercs in there. Yeah, it's a bit weird on Ez. I'm not sure about GA either, but... I mean, like, he's getting fucking murdered. Maybe he's just like, alright, fuck this shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would think you'd want QSS against Sedge, or you're always open to just getting, like, R flash. Uh, like not, a, not an Ez, though. It's pretty like, hard, yeah. you can You can always eat it. Oh. Just play like you have the dash. Oh, Flandre? He's... Bro, this guy is fucking tanky. Wow, he doesn't die. I think EDG can't lose fights. Like, if, if that was a good play by Flandre, then, then yeah. EDG cannot lose. That was his ult, but like, he also... He didn't do much damage to him. It's because there, there is no backline for DRX. The backline is Ezheimer. Like... This game looks fucking. <laughs> Viper has flash. I don't think he can get outplayed here. Let's see it. Yeah, I mean, Poppy flank is so uh, whatever. Oh no. Yeah. Did you guess you're a freak? He's just screaming, Poppy's on the flank! <laughs> Four yeah. times in a row. He just dies. Yeah. Yep, he was flanking. Oh, never mind. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, DRX has one chance to win this game and it's oh it's like this. They're all really going in with oh! Oh, one HP. He can't oh, wait, oh! Depth is on the next Wait. Wait, Depth is on next. No way. Wait, Depth is on next. It's over. DRX wins. DRX wins. Wait, it's over. It's yeah, they actually win. win. Uh oh. Holy what? Minus one! No! Oh my god! No! No! What? No way. Oh my god! No way. No way. Oh my god. god. What? Dude, I, th I thought that was a bug. I was no like, way. why is it the game not like exploding? No way. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my That's fucking so fucking god. crazy. That's that's legit, fucked of, up. That's so I, fucked I've up. I've never seen it that close is that, before. Is that the only time that's ever happened where there's an auto mid air and the and the Nexus gets immune? Oh that's my! That's fucking wild. I don't even. Dude, I don't even know. Dude, if, if Aatrox didn't get canceled, problem. Yeah, it's it's Kingen's fault. This happened, by the way. It's his fault completely that that happened. Like, are you oh fucking kidding me? Oh my god, bro! What? Did Sedge have vision or was that just a blind ult that happened to hit Death him? Death is just like, yo, GG, we won. You got, good game, boys. Oh <laughs> my god. It's not that that is minions, too. Wow. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> that is disgusting. Holy Tensa just like fuck. inhibitor respawn. Dude, they actually had to Press sit the back button. down after that. That is insane. I don't know. I mean, they have open nexus though. It's actually so hard to win when your nexus is open. Holy but shit! But I think they just man. they just push for the win with Baron Elder now. They have to play like rats. Yeah, I mean the rats should be scurrying on toward that nexus right about now. Oh, uh, it's too hard now. You have Jack's, to, Jack's you have to back. buy time on the on the Baron. You have to be realistic on how to rat. This is so cursed, man. It's pretty fucked. Akali just needs a Lich Bane and just fucking roll up to the base, two tap it. I mean, they have to kill Inhib first, though. That's the problem. Yeah, I know. You just use both of them. This wave, I think. If you're the team with open Nexus, you need to take any chance possible to end. Oh, God. Ooh. Look, Akali's oh, sitting in base. He's... Oh, yo, look at that word bottom. Look at the word bottom. Yeah. That's uh, not usable, it's though. It's impossible mm. because they have Baron. They're going to lose right here. If they, like, try and go for it. Yeah. Even Actually, defending, they're going to lose. The enemy team will just end faster than you can. Oh. Yeah. It's just over, man. Oh. Is it? Oh. oh. Is it? Need some damage. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, it's just getting one shot. Yeah, it's GG. Yeah. Oh, Three. my God. That's fucked up. That's got to be the closest game that's ever been lost at Worlds. Yeah. The other one was the Jackie Love one. Where his mod didn't pop. Yeah, True. that was extremely close.
This was closer though. That's fucking crazy. I did not expect that at all. What the fuck? I didn't even see the inhib was spawning. This is one where you will be able to go back and watch and find 10, 20, 30, 40 different things. Holy fucking dicks. The smallest decisions really changing everything. Somebody check for bugs now. <laughs> find some excuse. Dude, DRX would pause one second before the Nexus explodes and say, can we just find any fucking bug ref? Like, any single one? <laughs> Holy shit, man. Wait. Jax did cancel his recall for fun. That's On the Baron? Mm -hmm. Jax yeah, like, while Ezreal was doing this? Oh, it's Def's birthday, too? Oh god. Oh, birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's a little birth birthday inhibitor. Happy yeah, he birthday, was like seven bitch. seconds into his recall and he canceled it. I've done that oh. before. Because I'm like so eager to run when I get yeah. back to the pad. Oh, I guess if you've done it before, then it's not a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Then he played perfectly. Huh. Yeah, I didn't think about it like that. This game was such a roller coaster. It's like Barrel's running it down, then Barrel makes like two hero plays to kill Viper. And it's like, mm. holy shit, Barrel's like playing well again. And then Def throws bot lane on soul point. Then he almost makes a game winning play. And then Kingan throws with his CP. Well, Ez threw twice. Remember, he killed himself again. Uh, Yeah, that's the true. Viper. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Holy shit. That was so crazy. I feel like for between yesterday's games and today's, like the, these series are like actually banger. The first two where it's just three o three o. I sleep. Yeah, I mean, you don't really want to see stomps unless you're really rooting for the team. Like if an A stomped, you'd be like, "Oh my fucking god, let's go!" Well, actually, maybe double wouldn't, but <laughs> I would, I would be like that. All right, does Barrel pick Heimer for the third game in a row? Unasked for. Nobody wants it. Okay, what's stronger? Heimer, RE, or Leon ult? <laughs> Leon ult sure faster. If, not sure if Shiri's question. No, what's a better ability? Like, yeah, I said not sure if Shiri's question. No, 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 no. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. I think Heimer's ult E is better than Leona's ult. I think it's not close. I mean, it's way more guaranteed to hit more. The Heimer E. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. I thought you were calling me a dumbass. No. I mean, he Heimer R E is very strong. I, I was saying it before. It was way stronger, too, when it had the 80% slow on it. It was actually insane. Oh, you can like even miss it and it'll, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, like you just, you threw it as initiation and it didn't even matter if it's stunned or not. Yeah. What's the stun now? Just the same as the current E slow. You weren't here for mm. Bjerg, but it was really weird. Like, basically, Heimer ulti E was bugged in like 2019 where it just, that, that part wasn't working. Like, it wasn't 80% slowing. And then, like, they just, Literally put it in the notes of like, yeah, we bug fixed it saying that it 80% slows because they couldn't fix it actually 80% slowing. Like, they wanted it to 80% slow, but they couldn't figure out how to do it because it was bugged. So then they just reverted it to where it only slows for 60. So they just nerfed it? Yeah, they nerfed it by bug fixing it. But it wasn't even a bug. Like, the, the actual bug fix would have been making it 80% slow again. It's yeah. really troll. <clears throat> <laughs> it checks out guys we'll just incident. it's fine we'll just make it 60 yeah F would have finished the game if he used Trinity Force but he didn't use it for 5 seconds straight at Sneaky I eh. did see that you did see that? wait a fucking second no he actually didn't yikes what? was he AFK? no like so he just he used all of his abilities on the minion, the wave that was, you know, in front of him, normal. He kills the top turret, like the, the Nexus turret, the one higher up, and he's using abilities. 
And then this, when he starts hitting the second one, he doesn't do anything besides auto attack. He ends up Wing the Nexus when it's available, but... Do you have enough mana? Yep. What's he low on mana? He's at half, but he never queues. Like, is he waiting to... Like, is he scared of the enemy and he wants to queue them to break their speed? Is that what it is? Because he ends up queuing, like, at the very end. Holy fuck, man. You think it would have been enough to end? Absolutely. He, he 100% gets, gets one more proc, at least. They kind of speed it up, but... That's a pretty big bummer, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he, he, he definitely guaranteed gets one more proc, which is enough. But he also probably could have gotten two procs. Unlucky. That just feels like total shit. Yoshik Kindred? Kindred? Yeah, Ooh. this guy's a no way. Original Kindred Olaf. He locked player. it. A little Kindred main. Oh, I don't think it's gonna work, but like, I seem to make something that maybe could work. The worst city to try if you're desperate. Sounds a little bit desperate, yeah. Hmm. I I think their core of the comp is pretty flexible right now. Like they have pretty OP champs. Aatrox and Silas. Good frontline for Kindred. Maybe Botlane will play something more utility so that Kindred has an easier time hitting. Or they'll just do the Korean thing where they just have like five guys playing for themselves. Those two champs do work really well with Kindred ult because they have like a lot of burst and healing at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? How would Depth possibly do that? Like I actually don't understand his thought process. They should ask him. Why does not, not part of his Triforce? Yeah, did yeah. he not want to win? <clears throat> I mean, like, I don't. Were you taking any... a fall on this one? He was like already jumping out of his seat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. It's a fucking intense scenario where the enemy has yeah. Baron. You know they can recall fast. Like, it's not just fucking sit back any. and relax. Huh? I also think that as you're doing that, as you're pushing for the back door, 15 seconds before, it's gonna pop up saying that the inhib is spawning soon. Yeah. I feel like he'd probably notice that. that I hope he would have noticed that. I, I could give him leeway on that because I think that's kind of hard to see. Like, yeah, uh, is it? You, you could... No, it is. No, it is. You, you could have missed it, right? Because everyone's screaming at that time. Everyone's screaming, I got canceled. And then it was like, okay, we're going to stop their backs. We'll stop their backs. Like, yeah, it pops everyone's up on going, your screen too, though. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but I, I, I know, wasn't a Baron recall. I know like most times when I'm hitting the Nexus and the inhib interrupts us, I didn't notice the inhib notification. Like, I think it's actually a terrible way to represent it. There, there should be some other way to show you. So you actually know. Yeah, I, I think having a... Like, I don't even know if it's still the case, but, like, there was a point where, like, there, the graphic around the inhib changes based on, like, how soon it's going to respawn. That's still the but case, But it's, yeah. it's so subtle. Like, I, I feel like it's not even consistent. Yeah. yeah they, they should I don't have, like, a literal... Really it, to be honest. A literal <laughs> timer somewhere. Yeah. I think it'd be good. Why didn't he just use one of those Chinese apps that tracks everything for him? That's I mean, weird. That, it's literally going to be in the game. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. Draven. People said that jungle timers are going to be there next uh, Draven? season. Draven into Victor? Into yeah, Victor Draven. Graves. All right, this game's right. lost. Did you? Yeah, they're not trying to win. Yeah. The next. There is no next. Why are you blind Draven versus Renata? They're just... No. Maybe you have like a cuck fantasy, you like you like your stacks Varys, getting Varys. denied. Varys, go Varys. Or Callisto, yeah. There's I don't... two recorded games on Draven. Oh boy. Are they wins? I already said. I think he said two and zero on the champion, yeah. Oh, undefeated is what I'm hearing. 
<laughs> oh, he said O2. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, oh. <laughs> it was one of those. Well then. <laughs> It's either 100% or 0%. Can we cut that? Can we edit that out? <laughs> this is a really cool draft again. I mean, Ballin is so banger every fucking game, but I think Callista Renata wins against Draven Soraka. Maybe early Draven Soraka can win. Super early. So Alright, so Kindred needs to cheese Graves level 2 in this matchup. Oh, holy fuck. Graves is Ignite. He can't be yeah, How are you going to cheese the guy who has Ignite? <laughs> That's, That's actually extremely crazy. cheesy. He went Treasure Hunter Ghost. <laughs> or Zombie Ward. <laughs> very normal. Draven, yeah, Draven's Rocket should win like level 1 and 2. And then I think it gets pretty bad after a while. I think Lister and I will win. Pretty much every point after that unless they get fucked over level one M maybe the fact that they have heal barrier changes stuff though because it's kind of scary to all in someone with heal barrier my experience has just been that calista renata does not lose all ins strange but it'll pay off if they can cancel death's recall does death need to recall though can you stay with these items he could. He could. Bam Scepter's not the end of the world for him, especially since he has Soraka. Maybe he could just greet it out for something. I think he just busted all his mana, but he has two cookies. Kill base, I think, yeah. Yeah, he, It's not easy to cancel him, though, no? The Prada is really low. Yeah, no, he doesn't get to cancel him. Honestly, I would have I would have definitely thought about staying here, because you can just stand there and make it so Viper doesn't get any XP. Yeah, I mean, you could... To, like try to bait him to cancel your recall to like take a shitty trade or something and just stay yeah he did end up rushing the dirk i think it's the most common strat now with draven you go eclipse uh essence reaver oh no bot lane needs some helpy could he have tried to push this fast or slow like What's the play here when you're in Viper spot? It seems kind of doomed. Like, you know when the guy gets back, he's just going to pound you. The most you. important thing is that the wave is in a good spot. I think he did well to slow it down. If the wave is, like, right in front of Draven's turret, then they get to press G so much more than if it's, like... Because it, it doesn't matter that it's, like, pushing out, like, freezing, you know? Mm -hmm. If if the wave is in a good spot, he can just... Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. They, the, the Graves doesn't have flash. Close. Yeah. You'd ignite him, though. So like, is this what you want to avoid? Was, the waves yeah, here? Yeah, exactly. I think when his support came, he'll, his lane, he wanted to try to push it. I'm, I don't think he misplayed. Viper does not really make too many mistakes, so I think they just fought a lot. Mm. Like, what do you do to avoid this though? Like, mechanically, well, like, do he, you just push he came out as soon as lane. Wade gets there? Mechanically. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, well, yeah, like, no, he, he came to his lane like and. His opponent was reset, right? So it's yeah. just empty and it's 50-50. If he's going to get last hits, like he should just get them as late as possible so that... Because he cannot blow up the wave and bounce it off the turret in one go. So he needs the next wave. Mm. So just keeping it in the middle and then try to blow it up on the next go is like probably the right move. I see, but he just that's what couldn't he... get it in time, so it got stuck? Yeah, that's what he tried to do. All in all, I mean, it's good. I think being town 10 CS, this is a pretty cancer matchup. What the oh, fuck? that was a fast four vitals. Flandre's actually cracked as hell at Fiora. What the? Them Chinese Fioras, man. Oh. Atrox always does this. He just <clears> starts. <throat> he just starts fighting like crazy when uh, he's about to get dove. You can play on the edge so well with this champ, I feel. Dude, Atrox is like a range champ. I swear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. You don't ever have to auto. You can just. I mean, if you, if you let that wave crash, you're probably going to die. Yeah. I think if I was playing a competitive jungling, I would. Kindred would be one of my top least favorite champs to play against. Wait, what? He yeah, has... yeah, no, Flash. Kindred's super annoying. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that How did Zekka end up that deep? 
That was just grief. Unlucky. That was interesting. Did you guys see the thing of Def's fucking performances at Worlds? No. Like his, his placement? It was <laughs> like 2014 semis, literally every other year quarters. <laughs> oh. Quarters, 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 What? Oh. And he hit six off it too. Uh, but and but why all? Why, why What's ult, the point of bolting? Oh yeah. Are you want to secure it? Like make sure that you can grab it and not get griefed. Oh, like yeah. I mean, that's so insanely worth it for DRX. Holy fuck! I think they were winning for Renata six, and then they just go all in. I cannot imagine them winning a two v two. Raven's pretty oom. He's got cookies, yeah, I, think, I guess. I think, I think Viper and Mako can fight. I, they're probably scared right now of jungle interference. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see it. Ah, he went for the uh, red steel. <laughs> that was <laughs> pretty <laughs> grief. That is indeed a play. He almost got the red, though. He almost got it. Oh, that looked like a bug. Boom. Yeah, actually, I think if he didn't ult, he may have not actually gotten to pick it up. Man, Graves has been the most troll champion for jungle for the past, like, infinite years like since his rework it's like he's either good and oppressive or they nerf the shit out of him and he's unplayable graves is never just like okay he either yeah. runs the entire jungle meta or he's gone entirely oh i think it's a fight angle like go crazy go crazy go crazy oh. go crazy he's gone unlucky wow, oh what because of the stats huh? it's because of the stats oh the execution Ooh. yeah Oh, I was damage. wrong. I was wrong. You can, you can, you can do it in the. In Dude, the... he's. Oh my <laughs> God! Look at Draven Gold. How much health did Mako have when he died there? Like thirty-five percent. Four hundred-ish. Looks like a lot. I need to replay. Apparently, he had three hundred stacks according to Zale, So there's an extra three hundred damage on top of the ult. Damn, that is very That's fortunate. Insane. I feel like if he didn't get that, the game is just over. Oh, so he he's not gonna do. What I thought. He's gonna go shield bow collector. Not eclipse. I think so. I I mm. I've been trying like the eclipse build and I don't know, I really don't like it if for whatever reason. I feel like any oh, quiver really? item feels better, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I was, I was doing Gale Force and it actually felt good. It's weird. Oh wow, that still clips him? What the fuck is that? Oh, God, that hit hard. Jesus. No, there's... Azale's saying it's a misclick. I think Mako just didn't think that would kill. I mean, I think a lot of people would die there. You'd have yeah. so rare to die to Draven R with passive stacks. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, it is kind of inexperienced playing against Draven, probably. He... he could have and should have flashed it, but it's kind of understandable to not. Is it one more damage per stack? It's, it's, like, it's sort execute. Of. So it's execute on based on the number. Like, yeah. Like it, it hits you for the ult damage, and then if your health is below his number of stacks, it just outright kills you. Yeah. And he had 300 stacks? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I feel like oh, he got overkilled by these from up there. Oh, nice. He's out. Ever He's out. Let's fucking go. Oh, wait. No, he's... Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Cloud map. <laughs> Actual cloud that's map. Actually, that's free boot stiff as well. 10 move speed. Dude, wait, he had two different cloud zones, right? The one in yeah. the enemy jungle and his? Holy shit. Yep. Vic Victor, like, didn't get either of them. A bit of a sleeper game. I... Yeah. I don't think anything's ever gonna happen. Oh, never mind. Zeka just. Where the oh. fuck is oh. Heimerdinger? 
Oh my god. We Dude. want Heimer. I'm telling you, the DRX needs Heimer. They, like, they need shit to happen. <laughs> also, is Barrel just old or is his fucking balls huge that he doesn't ulti there? And he lets, uh, he lets his... I feel like when you play Kindred Zillion, it's the same shit too. You like don't know who should go first. It's like good that he held his ulti, but maybe they have a system down. With Kindred Zillion, you usually have a system, yeah. But I don't know if it's... Nah, it's probably the same with Soraka Kindred. You probably yeah, want a Soraka exactly. ult coming out of the Kindred ult. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a management of his skills along with understanding the limits... Yeah, you'd only use Soraka ult first if, like, Kindred's gonna get CC'd or something. Yeah, yeah. It's the same with Zillion. Hey, the only time it gets weird is, like, if the enemies are really low, so, like, Kindred doesn't want to ult first to save them. <laughs> that does seem like a pretty... Fucked up system. I mean, it's a real thing when you're playing Kindred. Like, I remember one time I was talking to August, and he said something that, like, design-wise, Kindred alt's kind of a mess because, like, there there literally are times where you're just not supposed to press your alt. Or like, if you're one HP and like three of them are one HP on top of you, and like you know you'll die, but three of them will die if you don't alt, then you probably shouldn't alt. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just weird. I remember Stretzcare was having such a hard time. He's like, man, I'm playing AD carry in a team fight, and I'm playing like Zillion, and I need to keep <laughs> yeah, on reviving dude, my teammates. This is way too brains. hard. It's like, how can I play AD carry and support at the same time in a team fight? Dennis is so bad at playing the AD carry role in team fights at the time. Holy, Holy shit! Holy flame! No, I mean, like, cause he never played. But it is like hard that. though. Because yeah. you can play like AD carry, but also then thinking about using your kindred ult for teammates, it's not easy. Yeah. I mean, I think jungle and AD carry are pretty different mindsets for how to fight usually. Like, whenever I play AD, I just want to go in. Oh my what god, you? that juke! That was a big dick oh, juke. Nasty. Yo, Silas, Silas, Silas. Oh, look at he's sneaking in. Oh, wait, Zekka has a giga flank. Oh, oh he missed everyone. He missed everyone. No. He he that was a hard. A... He should have no played, dude. Oh, oh my scary. god, he's he's so dude. nervous. He's shitting bricks in the bush. Dude, Bjerg and Penta's there. Holy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, my favorite combo lately has been BT Kraken. Just feels so nice. My fucking stream's lagging. Hello? Is Piyoshi gonna ult that? Oh. Ooh. Okay, oh, third oh, we'll dragon. Play, we'll play. Third dragon for DRX. They can't, they can't really fight now. Yeah. Oh, that's well played. My stream just full froze and I had to refresh. I just started to hear that. And they get the mid tier one. So Have you considered watching on 480p? And it's pretty nice. No. Oh, wow. Aatrox is getting bullied. I feel like Flandre is like quietly gapping King in a lot of these games. Maybe not the Jax ones specifically, but King and fucked up his CP at the end. The first game they played Kennen versus Fiora. He was way more useful too. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like he was doing badly on Jax, it's just felt like Aatrox was just doing a lot. Uh -huh. Doing so much work. These fights seem like DRX is going to win just by how they've been going. Yeah, uh, it's weird. EDG has like low CC. Technically so does DRX, their CC is pretty shit as well. Uh, I don't know about this Piosic build though. I feel like on Kindred, you're, you just always go Glass Cannon. Dude, I, I don't understand. Like, how often do, in, in these Worlds games do you see 5-man Siege mid being effective? I feel like almost every time you see a team 5-man Siege mid, they get, like, pinched from left or right side, and then it's like, it's not good. Really? They just, like, I mean, defaulted. They, they've been grouping and getting turrets when they do it. These games. Like, 5-on-5 five five sieging, though? I don't know. No, you said 5-man Siege. You didn't say 5-on-5. Well, right there, it was like, it was very obvious that it was going to be 5 on 5 because no one is showing on side lane. Yeah, but like the concept of five man grouping in the lane is, has more been like 
They were five-man grouping before the enemy can five-man group themselves. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. I guess I left out the really important detail. Yeah, yeah, five, 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 five siege, yeah. Five man siege while getting flanked just doesn't seem to be working out. <laughs> like, they, they literally just did it twice in a row, like... Yeah, I mean, that, that part's fucking hard. It does have, like, crazy think... poke for it to work. Yeah, I mean, there's no punish on this Callisto ulti not getting any value, but... Draven has 400 stacks. Maybe the strat with Draven is to just sit on your stacks so you can execute someone for every drag fight. <laughs> That's pretty smart. Like, you bank up your power. Just don't get too many kills. Yeah, Don't get exactly. any. One kill every 15 minutes. Like just You don't even rank your alt up. You do, like, the echo thing where you just don't put a oh, point into it. Dude, that's so sweet. Until you're about to execute someone. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. The hell does that mean? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. You stack up, like, 2,000 Draven stacks, you lose soul. And then you you fight the elder with like two thousand elder stacks. So you just one shot somebody. Oh, yeah. no counterplay actually, <laughs> right? Two thousand damage execute. Yeah, I mean that, that's the that's the strategy with Draven. We were talking about a couple weeks back. Just stack attack speed, sit your ass at Gromp or something, and just keep resetting it and stacking. Level one Draven comes at you with two thousand stacks. <laughs> Hits you with the R, you die instantly. <laughs> wow, a level one Draven level with his R. How does he do that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got it. you go like AP Draven, uh, like as well. I, so, so like, no, uh -huh. actually, that doesn't make any sense. Yes, AP Draven. Tell Ace, me more. No, no. Ace Draven. <laughs> Ace Draven. I can get behind this. Cerildas, your axe is slow. Does it even work that way? Stop think. So. Stop thinking, dude. You're actually ruining stop this. Stop thinking. You're okay, ruining my, my bad. version on my 2000 stack Draven at Worlds. <laughs> So boring, bro. Oh, a five man siege getting turrets. Thoughts? Holy. Mr. Lift? My bad, guys. It's actually a good strat. Ooh, that kindred poke. Look at Wolf go. What can you do when he's just fighting the your ass? The flank is really not working out. I thought maybe it would be good. Ow. Holy shit. Hillisang already tested that one. Can you flank a Sorak? Literally, literally the Soraka? wildest play that's ever happened. <laughs> yeah, he literally like flanked mid with Soraka and just instantly died. He, he had no flash and he, he like flanked a trundle and just gets pillared and killed. Yeah, it was pretty funny. And unlucky. Oh, that's wow. too early. Yeah. It's really. Zekka, no. You weren't supposed to bust your load there, bro. Oh. Maybe it was running out. 418 stacks. Monka. Two more. So he can probably get somebody at like 800, 700 HP. Probably 700. And it'll one-shot him. That's pretty That's pretty strong. Like. Just a perma ARAM. What? He's going rapid fire and not fucking... Okay. Okay. Oh, Draven? Yeah, I thought... Is it that bad? Seems reasonable. They fucking they have so much armor, no? Uh, I mean, just Graves and Fiora. I think getting hot shots on their carry is probably more value. Huh. What about penetrating that ass? I mean, your team's got a lot of damage. I don't think Fiora is just rolling in and killing everyone. Oh, wow. It's alive. Somehow, some way. I think Pio 6 build is more reportable than Draven, at least. What should he have gone second instead? I mean, every time I see Kindreds, they just... They only look good if they go, like, full damage, like Kraken, PD, IE, with Berserker Greaves. Even if you feed your ass off on the way there, like, you could be 0-10, and once you get those items, like, you actually can just kill people. Yeah. But, but now it's like, you're not really tanky, you don't really kill anyone, it's just like the... I guess he's just scared of getting one shot before he can all. Just not sure why you pick Kindred to play like this. This is the equivalent of going like Lord Dom second AD carry into IE. It's so greedy and it's like not very good. Oh, he sold the zeal. What? Okay. That's weird. 
Def changed his mind. Is Def really like? Wait. He has huh. double stream on. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> nah, that is cap as fuck. That's pretty troll. What? I think it's especially troll because when he base, he had 1450 exactly. Like That's the first really time. troll. That's yeah. Disturbing. This is, this is like when you you had to tell Lost in the middle of the game to buy a uh, Lord Dom's. It's like I'm putting. Yeah, one of his one of his teammates is like, "Yo, bro, I really think you need to get Lord Dom's." <laughs> okay. Man, I really don't think he needs it that much here. Like Fiora is the only one who actually has armor, and she's not really the biggest threat in a team fight. Oh. Nor are you the only one who's gonna kill her. Getting pot shots is only important against comps with low sustain, though. What, I mean, what wow. sustain does whoa, whoa. EDG have? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yo, Clisson needs to rend. There's so many spears. Oh, Wait. The it's winnable. Did you rend him? It's winnable. It's winnable. Oh. Does, does rend pop on your teammates? I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Viper Pentas oh. here. Viper Pentas here. Pop them here. all. Pop them all. Yep. Pop them all. Oh. Okay. Is that just game? Uh, I I can tell you, you can't press rend on your teammate only. Yeah. Like if the only rend stacks are on your teammate, it doesn't let you push it. What if there's both? Sense. I don't know. I I, 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 I want to see if Callista get a reset off her teammate. Just I killing them. I was literally them. trying to kill my teammate one time. Dude, like, that's the first I got thing I tried doing solo queue. I'm not yeah, even kidding. I, I was trying I... to test it. Yeah. Yeah, I, like. I wouldn't even care, like, test it or not. Yeah, it literally, even if I know it's gonna kill him 100%, I'm gonna grief my teammate. <laughs> like, it's just too funny. Uh huh. Wait, Dep just based with 3k gold, apparently? Oh my god. He bought it. He bought Lord Domi's, and he got he another zeal. He didn't sell his zeal. I, right he there. put it in his stash. How was this not all so much value? This one is insane. Look at by Scout. The way. Look at Scout. Look at Scout. What? Ow, ow, oh, he's trying ow. to walk out of it rather than just walk backwards. Yeah, that's. Uh... Wait a sec. Viper stacked his lethal tempo off Scout. Silence is broken. Well, that's actually pretty smart. He did stack it. Yeah. Hey, guys, it looks like five man sieging 5v5 is probably not the ideal way to play. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels like Kalissa's not a good siege champ. Maybe they're just ending up in this awkward spot because, like, <laughs> neither of them want to go side. Like, Fiora can go to one side, and then the other one, they're like, all right, we need to get Vision. Let's push through mid. Oh, they're not showing. Let's siege. Oh, my God. That, like, if, you play, wow. if you're playing with Fiora, is, is it not just, like, a good default to just play 4-1 and have her be, like, an avenue for you to walk from mid to? Yeah, I, mean, I, I agree. Just yeah. So trying many to see why I, they I end just, up in this. Yeah, I, I. They they obviously are thinking something. They're not brainless. Like they for sure have some sort of idea. Like why this is good. Maybe it's like, oh, Victor can poke. Ooh. Oh Ooh. wow, Piosik is actually popping off a little bit. Ooh. Going giga. Actually, good damage on Victor. Yeah. Yeah. Forces flash. Bro, DRX is still echo of this no. game, by the way. You think so? I hope they time that inhib. I don't know. I mean, they fucking. 41 minutes. 41 minutes. Already done it like twice. <laughs> wait, how, how long does it take it for inhib to respawn, guys? Five. I don't even know, bro. It's some fucking. Oh, you see it. Fourth. No, five, yeah. Bottom left. You're right, you're right. It's five. I think it's five. It, wait, it could be five. I'm gonna guess five. This is actually right for once, I think. Oh, it feels so good. I feel like at any moment, if Fiora and Victor have a good fight, it's it wouldn't be that surprising if EDG won 5v5, basically. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah. Wait. <gasps> wait. Oh! Nobody had a blue trinket for it! Oh. Really? He had blue trinket? No, no, nobody had it. I'm saying, De Zeka oh. had a pink ward though. I think. Yeah, I mean, Ze Zeka also eat and ever fast at the same spot. If he eats oh, the right, right side and ever fast right. the left, one of them is gonna cancel. You're right. He needs to fucking play more Valorant. Oh my 
goodness. Victor has no flash this fight. It's actually hard for him to enter. Okay, Soren, we're in game five world finals. Okay, you just woke up from a fevered dream. And we're okay. in draft. And the only two AD carries are Vayne and Draven. What, what am I playing? Don't lose on my team? Yes. <laughs> well, we're not playing Draven, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Holy I've never played my Draven before. Do you remember? Do you remember back in like season one when you said, or was it like season two when you said Draven is just a champ when he yeah, was the most yeah. broken champ when in the was, whole game? He had the stacking. Uh -oh. and he had the bleed. Yeah. Holy shit! The if you thought he's bruised. bad back then, how are you gonna play him now? That's true. That's, That's true. pretty <laughs> suspicious, Mister Lift. Yeah, you've had a personal players. vendetta against this champ for 10 years. <laughs> you know, I actually tried to play him against Sneaky on, on TL. Mm -hmm. I was not bad at Draven in scrims. And actually, you know what, that stage game, I, it, I wasn't that bad, but like, it was definitely my finest performance. Is that the game where like, legit all of you guys killed killed your lane opponent? And then lost? Yeah. Maybe. I think it, let me talk about that game. It was like one of the first games you subbed in, and like all of us fucking died in lane. We tried some like pill thing that our fucking psychologist gave us. Oh shit! Wait, what? Oh. what are huh? You, talking about? you guys took a Viagra or what? Oh! Oh my god! Wow, that kindred. Kindred is so fucking low. Oh my oh. god! But she's Zonia's oh my god, Viper is dead. But it's a GA. It's over. It's, it's over. over. It's, it's GG. They did it. What a crazy fucking fight. Oh. What? You know, Pyosik got his fucking ult off at 1 HP. He almost got one tap by death. I feel like. Wait, God. but Death's on his team. Damn. Yep. <laughs> Death Yo, is on his that team. TP. He's, Holy he's shit. Not Dude, he, he moved a bit. <laughs> I think it was more about keeping the minion alive, Sneaky. Dude, he went so far with that TP. I think it was more about the uh, minion immunity than the... Guys, yeah, at the base! The wait, wait. is spawning! Deft on Nexus? Oh spawning. god. Oh god. Is ah. spawning. <laughs> Dude, he's if laughing. they threw again there, knows, that would have just like, been too oh fucking wild. God. Get Deft away from that Nexus, bro. We have ourselves a seat. First career win on Draven. <laughs> uh, Good time for it. What the fuck? Oh yeah, wait, can we go back to the uh, pills your psychologist gave you guys? I'm pretty sure I told you guys before, though. No? I don't think so. That's fucking <laughs> wild. I, like... I don't remember what it was, but... Viagra? Uh, I mean, it was just like... It was just some placebo pill, like basically. Like it only actually mm. did anything, but like he gave it to us, and we all fucking died in lane, and then we won later. And we're like, all right, we're never taking that shit again. <laughs> what the fuck? Legit, every lane got solo killed in the first like four minutes. Versus Teal, where double ups was subbing in. Were your pupils getting like really dilated or anything? <laughs> I once told my coach that I was having trouble focusing sometimes and I was feeling tired and he just gave me a bottle of pills with uh -huh. no um nothing nothing on the bottle. <laughs> Never took any of it. And then later he came and he was like, Do you still have any Adderall left from what they gave you? <laughs> what? And I was like, Oh <laughs> Yeah, I never took any of that. You can have it back. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who are these coaches? <laughs> That's coaching, baby. <laughs> Were you talking about the Viagra your coach gave you before? This match? is Bjergsen's Viagra. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Bjergsen was the coach. Oh, huh. wait. Are you talking about Loco <laughs> giving you Adderall? <laughs> well. Whoa. I said hey, He said a coach. <laughs> <laughs> anyone. Honestly, could have been anyone. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it could have been anyone. I don't know. My, my Dude, memory I... is really, really hazy, guys. I usually remember <laughs> shit wrong. I don't know. Soraka <laughs> silence, the Callista thing. I don't know. Who Loco was. is about to sue you for <laughs> defamation. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Not confirm nor deny at this time. <laughs> Definitely won't deny it. Like sheesh. <laughs> oh shit, bro. He wanted you to be grinding legal on that so you wouldn't notice his OGN sessions. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, the wildest shit happened in that era of League, I swear. Dude, okay, I, I found out some really fucking funny stuff, though. One of the LCS players from back in the day was a drug dealer. What? Really? Yeah. Like, that was his side gig. It was... I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys too after the stream, but it's it's so, it was so random. What kind of drugs are we talking about? Like hard drugs. Like party drugs. Like Molly and Acid. And oh. he's in this call with us right now, but I won't Ooh. say who. Shit. <laughs> <gasps> Fucking sneaky, I knew it. Yep. Gotta make cash somehow. I once had a teammate tell me that his brother didn't do very well in school, but he's really smart. He grows these mushrooms and he sells them for a lot of money. <laughs> and I was like, so he's a drug dealer. <laughs> Holy but he's shit, really bro. smart. Gamers are just built diff. That's so funny, man. So he's a gardener. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So he's a... He's a farmer. He's going green. People pay a lot of money for these mushrooms. They must be tasty. Wait, Soren, when you were doing the beard thing, was it just because you could and you wanted to try it? Or like... When really I was it? doing the beard thing. <laughs> yeah, when you did the beard. You don't remember? Uh, uh, <laughs> you did like, this huge beard. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know what to say, man. The beard thing. Yo, do that beard thing. How do you not remember doing the beard thing? Yeah. Should I do it? Should I do it right now, guys? <laughs> please, please, Bjergsen, just do the beard. Uh, I'm gonna go put it off. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go put it off. <laughs> Dude, come on! Uh, it's just a goof. It's it's a gaff. <laughs> Is a bit of a break. <laughs> anyway, so when I was doing the beard thing, <laughs> yeah, yeah, was it because? Um, you really liked it at the time, or um, was it because like you wanted, like you were just trying it out, just because it was the first time that you could grow like a full beard? I was just trying it. Dude, I'll never forget. We went to dinner once. Yeah, and you didn't like, recognize me. Yell. Yeah, and I'm, I so I'm walking you. to this place. Right, it's it's a, it's an empty street. It's like fucking eight or nine p.m. in the middle of Hollywood. It's kind of sketchy, and I'm walking to this place, and I'm at the crosswalk bump into this guy and he he like says something and i'm like kind of freaked out i'm like i need to get away from this guy and then and then he's like wait you really don't recognize me and it's sword <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking scary though i was about to fucking call not on looked, your ass you thought i looked homeless dude yeah yeah i did huh i didn't think you you looked homeless that's on you not me did you have your knife out perchance bjergson <laughs> <laughs> I was about to exercise the Second Amendment, in Kona. <laughs> oh, you had your your AK sixty nine yeah. out. <laughs> oh shit! Can. Yeah, that was crazy. Cause I, I'd seen you on like on stream and shit, but I I don't think we'd ever we'd hung out IRL. <laughs> Literally different person. Chills. Chills. Silas. A colleague. Yo, what if this whole series was just getting griefed by Barrel playing Heimer every game? And now he's not trolling. Yeah. Dude, I mean, yesterday he was getting griefed by giving Yumi two games in a row. Yeah. Gift I think it's always... It's always, like, really tough, because... Obviously, it's one of their best strats. So if you go to best of five, you lose one game with one of your best strats. Do you pivot off because you lost one game? Or do you say, let's run it back but play better? Is it then their best you... strat though? Like, like I said, I, 
I don't think it is developed into, like, the bot lane specifically, Ash, Heimer. I don't think it's turned into, like, yeah, you can just play this into whatever. It's like they got yeah. into their own heads, like, oh, this shit's so good, like, we'll play it against <clears throat> anything. I mean, someone uh, else maybe... was playing it, right? Like, T1 or something? Yeah, T1 played yeah. it. Well, I'm not even talking about, like, outside POV. It's like, that's what probably they believe, the same way that I think, like, Damwon yesterday thought, oh, we can deal with Yumi. We just played bad the first game, and then they end up down 0-2 making kind of like the same mistake twice yeah so i don't know no, it's hard i, I think like, it's reasonable you either like overreact or you or you like double down but like both of them could totally mess you up i i think i think doubling down's fine because they're, they're confident in it right yeah and, and then they're down to like the last game they're like all right like we have to change drx has the god top side I would feel so confident picking any bot lane here. Like, I could click early game laning. I could go scaling. Like, they're going to go early game again. Fucking deft only plays early game champs. Hail of Blades Ash. Fucking. Actually, Ezreal is not early game champ, so. I take it back. Ooh. Varus. Varus. Wait, DRX banned Draven themselves. Damn, they really. Uh, Viper Draven, huh? I guess they play it. They must. Ugh. I feel like the team that I don't like their draft usually ends up winning. Because <laughs> this game, I I don't. I feel like EG kind of got out drafted, but they're probably gonna win then. Veras Renata. It's good. No, Soraka's down. Soraka is probably the most punishing matchup. I wonder what do you play here now? Yeah, you just got melee support into Re Renata though. It's kind of what she wants. Uh, Barrel, Ezreal support, Ash support. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Okay. They're actually mm -hmm. locking he, it just, in. He just like refuses to play a melee support into <clears throat> Renata, which I respect, because like that's pretty suicidal. Ash <laughs> support. Holy shit. Barrel's champions pool is uh something. <laughs> Very creative. He really wants to win, smile. I, I think it's creative. I think it's a creative way to deal with what happens. Soraka's banned and they took Renata away. It's, and Heimer's it's banned. Like, like, what can you do? It has to be Ash support. It's all bad. They even banned his Caitlyn support. Dude. Oh, shit. I mean, what he says, I will play? not play a melee fucking champion. Double hail of boners bot lane. Let's go. DDG, the reigning yep. champions. Narrowly Holy the shit. Playoffs. They really want to win lane. You get one auto as Varus, you get autoed eight times in response. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. I feel like playing against Deft and Barrel might be one of the most overall, like, skill intensive things in the world because they will do absolutely anything they'll play absolutely anything and they will make sure that it's like a <clears> hard <throat> matchup for you i think the fact that viper mega is like they can weather the storm is pretty impressive fuck dude i didn't know spongebob was so huge in other countries a global sensation like American TV is just that fucking goaded. Like, I thought every country would kind of like make their own cartoons and shit, and that, that those would be the ones that are popular. There is some form of that, no? This is on like TV, right? Like they have to have their own TV channel. Yeah, there's no like fucking super banger cartoons that are made by like some Danish company. Wait, Barrel? Oh. Some Danish company? <laughs> I don't know. It's easier to just steal. Yeah. Dub. Let's dub it up. <clears throat> oh! Oh my oh. god. That, Wait, is that actually got, winning? Scout got the Herald. Oh no, no. This Aatrox no. champ just can't lose. He does yeah, I'm starting so to think Aatrox is pretty damage, good. Damage, bro. Oh! 
Oh, Kingen did the thing. He did the BB thing where he cues, he like, E's to a wall, and while he's right about to go, he presses Q. In your mind, what's like the, the cheesiest bot lane? Like, if you wanted to cheese someone as hard as possible, what would you pick? Cheese? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, like, just make the other bot lane have the worst time possible in lane. <clears throat> I mean, Ash is kind of uh, up there. Like, Ash something. I, I, I Actually, it, it might literally be the Ash Heimer thing. Um, really? Yeah, like... Because I think what's important is that they're not just getting aids under turret. It's like they're getting pressured to die. Uh. That's, a, that's a main difference between Caitlyn and the other pushing lanes, too. It's like, oh, when you play Caitlyn Lux, like, you can actually die. And if you die, like, it's literally game over. Um... So definitely Ashheimer's in there. I don't know. A lot of matchups, even though it feels bad, like, I, I try to think of it from the enemy AD carry's perspective, and it's like, he's obviously not comfortable being, like, 20 CS up, you know? Like, this is... This is a tough game for him. So I'm, like, it's important not to make it easy for him, but... Yeah, do you remember Clis when... I think Calista Renata is in there. For giving people do you remember when Spika and I were gonna flex Caitlyn... Morgana to mid jungle. Oh so you guys can counter big ball lane in playoffs. That was so crazy. <laughs> that Dude, was gonna be crazy. That. that doesn't even oh. sound that bad. <clears throat> yeah, like, the that sounds was actually cool. not bad. But that would have been deep. People, people were picking like Jin Karma against uh Caitlyn Morg. Yeah, and there's not and we really just didn't, we didn't we didn't feel like there was a juicy enough counter on bot. Dude, it it fucking... that. Our playoff strat. We were one, so ready two, to Kate play it. Morg, and then flex. that would have been crazy. Yeah, that would be pretty hype. <laughs> Caitlyn Morg was really not a bad mid jungle. We actually played it a lot in solo queue. <laughs> I mean, I believe it. How could it be bad? You're fucking. How was Caitlyn laning? Like, did she just shit on everyone one on one? <laughs> I mean, she's like good first few levels, but if you're playing against a mage, it can be kind of hard with time because you don't. Mm -hmm. May just to start out training after like level five, but you can lane. You're never gonna be getting like completely shit on. And if Morgana yeah. hits one bind, it's the same as bot lane. Like you just yeah. one shot the jungler or the it's mid laner. Probably even more deadly because the mark is getting gold. Uh, I want to try that now. But sadly, there was no hard enough counter to the Jin Karma bot. Ooh. JJ didn't do the ghost kick. He's actually washed. <laughs> Wait, can you chain flash, Zorin? Yeah. And it'll yeah. like come out of your. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, I see. I always wondered how that shit came out so fast. Oh, oh. not not the best wow. start, but Lee just died instantly. Oh, oh, oh. oh. No, wow, they both dodged it. Whoa. Those flashes were sick. What the fuck? My god, they're fucking in them though. ERX still wins this. Hard. Bro. Oh, damn. Death didn't get that. I will never in a million years play a team fight in LCS that looks like that. <laughs> like, just the, yeah. the positioning, like the fucking reactions, it's not happening. I feel like <laughs> flashing a zero should be more common though, because everyone's been playing against a zero just every day for months. Yeah, it so really I'm surprised how many good hardest. shuffles the zeros are getting. I mean, it's not easy, but look at that. Oh, that's my actually God. like completely are, just reaction. Those are really good flashes. Yeah, the fact that Mako had the presence of mind to flash there instead of like try to flash over it. Really smart. Yeah, like the, the timing people... on their flash was so perfect that they just completely stopped getting hit by it at all. Where if they flashed early, they would have been clipped. Yeah, yeah. You definitely want to react to it if you can. Sometimes, like, if the soldier spawns on your head, like, you have no time, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Cause it, it, for that one, it did seem like... He was more centered on top of the champion, so the soldiers came out behind rather than yeah. right on top of them. Yeah, that's super advantage for the guys trying to flash over. I think if Azir has like somehow like lucky slash perfect positioning and is like he'll the very first millisecond of his ulti like starts stunning you, then 
I don't even know what you can do, honestly. It doesn't seem to be anything you can do. You just had to fucking like pre-flash it. Yeah. <clears throat> I think a really cool play though is like when somebody walks back the zero T. Like uh, he tries to like shuffle you away and you like back up and then you walk back through it. I think we saw that yesterday. When Swain did it to Showmaker Swain. Yeah, yeah, I think he did. Vizier. Then he flashed over it. Yeah, I think I think that one is super sick. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, can you really do that as a melee champion? I don't think you can. I think only ranged champs can do it. Yeah. This game is so crazy. It's only a 1k gold lead. I don't, I don't think Kingen's coming to the drag. He's just saying, yo, take their top camps. Let's give this one. I'm getting a lot. Honestly, I'd be pretty... I don't know. Mill's really strong and... Oh, what a oh. camp! Really nice. I uh, can't finish. On a kill. I don't think Deft... Uh, he, wa he didn't want to commit his... He didn't want to commit his cleanse. That's a, that's his fault. Because you can just Captain Jack cleanse the Q and and you're you're totally fine. Get pushed back. Oh, DRX grew the gold lead a fuck ton since the last time. One K gold. Ooh. Ooh. Not the best. Not the best arrow. If you don't want to hit the guy with Merc treads. Look how much cooler this Sejuani skin is than the ones other people use. <laughs> like, how are people riding one? using Poor Rider when you could use Hextech or Project? Damn, I don't even know there was Project Sejuani. I think that's what he's using right now. Where did that come out? I'm receiving the splash, even. I'm pretty sure you're fucking oh. Camille can just hard carry this fight if he gets a good angle. Like, this is such a good angle for Camille. Oh, God. oh he used his Q2 on it, though. <sighs> oh, that's not a kill. Wow, wow he, he just, just one-shot one one Oh, my God. Oh, my God. GG hard loses this. How did King and die? I don't think he so fast. dies. He's scout. Maybe. He legit ran into their whole team. Whoa, Ooh. his clone blocks it. <laughs> I forgot it's an Ash support. She starts autoing and just doing, like, yeah. 20 yeah. damage for auto attack. Like, oh. he's gonna die. What the fuck? Whoa, he's you see fucking gliding. Yeah. He's space gliding through the walls. Uh, who's TPing? Oh, it's his ear. Audrey no has flash. Yeah. They all got out there, wow. Yeah, it's a bit of a kind of surprising. Chase. Yeah, I mean, King Engine just went in really fucking early. Went for Rihanna. Got blasted. I feel like he didn't even go in early as much as he missed his chance to go in when the angle was really good for his team. To me, it makes no sense how Azir and LeBlanc are the exact same items. 40 farm up and one kill. Yeah, I don't know, is he sitting on gold? Oh shit, he, he just superman on him. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, that's not your base, King, and where are you going? Yeah. Can he turn it oh. after he starts all? Oh, that's so bad. Yikes. So bad. You never should do that. 750 gold. Oh man. Yeah. In the dumps. <clears throat> okay, it looks like he maybe could have stayed in earlier and just went for Lee. Oh, they're gonna take him. Oh no, this is oh. spot. Yeah. Ooh. This is like DRX, Wincon getting this drag. I don't think they're getting anything here. Ooh, nice. Put the turret down. I think you don't start it right away. Uh, you, no, you did the sin, you did the sin. Now they're oh, gonna get wiped on. Holy shit, that flash. I mean, it's getting a nasty angle. 
I feel like this is such a mistake. Oh! oh okay, they, oh. Got, they got it. it the they didn't get burger sold. flip. No deft. This flash, yeah. Holy I mean, DRX is not oh on the gosh. correct side of the map. They are... Oh, God! They still have Camille. Oh, what did I miss? Choke oh. Ethel! Kill Big him! old dragon fight. Oh, shit. Kingen could be fucked. Are they really going to get out? Deft is How's everyone totally getting out? Deft is dead. Deft is dead. And Barrel. Ooh, they barely got him. <laughs> Fuck you, Sneaky. What do you mean? You said it. <sighs> you know what you did? I did the dumbass laugh to your dumbass statement, bitch. Oh! If he had a ward, he just fucking... Holy shit, Viper is so boned. Is he? Yeah, is that guy and Piosic from behind? Oh, oh shit, he's and scout fucked. Unless... Oh! Oh no, oh. Oh, no. Scout's gone too! Oh! Wow, but wait, he takes out wait, Kingen with the chain. Wait, what? Yeah, chain killed him there. Holy shit, I thought he was higher. I guess the shield disappeared. But Scout had a fat shutdown. He was 5 0 then. I wonder who got it. I think it's Clista. Clista got it. Uh, yeah, definitely Clista XD. Made you think, bitch. <laughs> this looks like Free Baron. I would not fight this if I was EDG. Your champs are useless as a three man. Oh, yeah? Doesn't matter. Just have to give. Wow, they made that bad situation into like a really shit one when they... That's like the ultimate fucking... North American mistake. <laughs> what? You know what's you know what's really funny? About, I don't know. Like they they have a small advantage, and you just keep throwing shit at it until it's a big advantage. Oh yeah. It's like oh they're getting a pick. Yo, I'm gonna TP in. Oh fuck, we're both dead. Hmm. What's really funny about Kingen's play, where he like eat the wall blind on the fog on, into fog, is he just made Viper flinch. Like he he didn't actually go. So like he, his plan worked, right? He just pressed E at the fucking wall. Oh, like oh. baiting Dude, a TP. That what arrow? Was that? that was elevation diff. Oh, I didn't hit. What? Did again. 11 HP smite, by the way. That's in his ass. Is that a bug? Yeah. Spectator? It feels like an elevation bug or something. I don't know. Oh. I really want them to show the Camille thing. It's so funny watching that shit. I'm remaking. That's my arrow. Oh, look. Barrel hid the ward right there that they did for the TP later on. Ooh. On the way out. That's smart. Right there. What about that pink ward yeah. in the river? And you, you that were one too? talking shit. The golems. I'm always talking ward? shit, though. Like, what, is, what does that matter? <laughs> how much XP is Baron, by the way? You guys keep talking about how much XP it is. It's like half a level for everyone. Mm, that's yeah. pretty good. Hog tasty. What if I'm 18? What happens? Then you're barely legal. Oh. Then you get fucked. <laughs> get it? Uh, oh! oh! Oh, Blanc, why? Oh. That is so unlucky, dude. Wait. Is that uh, it's actually Yo, DRX win. Rapes. Is that legit GG? Oh. Okay, King is dead. Is that, that Death Dance? dance? Yeah. It had to be Death Dance. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's so many tier two, uh, or sorry, one for two trades this game. That's usually better for the team that gets two. Wow. So smart. I try. Ooh, it's almost both teams on soul point. Two dragons, or as I like to call it, soul point point. Uh, repeat that? <laughs> soul point point, you know, it's like so the EDT's point on, soul point, on point. soul point point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So then what if you're one dragon? You're soul point, point, point. point, point, point. Yeah. <laughs> what about no drags? <laughs> then you just call it no drags, I mean. Yeah, you know, oh, that's okay. just no drags. Don't overcomplicate things. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, Wait, King and Soul Lucidity for oh, Mercs after he died? Oh, they soul. So cheesy. Oh, wait, they, they, they fucked this team fight. Oh, Zeka. Zeka is totally out of the fight. I don't know. DRX should just win. <gasps> That's a one for zero? I don't understand how every team fight is just so down to the fucking wire. There's always people at 1 HP surviving, and there's not ever, like, a clean ace. Yeah. It's a close game. Oh, and there oh. goes King. Dude, he's kind of turboing it in these fights. Holy shit. Jesus, man. I mean, EDT just doesn't want to lose. Which is weird. That is, that... They just won. Like, I, I, they normally, just won. I would have thought a team would want to lose at this point, but... <laughs> yeah, you actually you bring up a good point. They're just mentally in it. Nobody's tilted on their team. Boom. I don't know, man. All those true damage chain lightning slows going out? I think it's time to tilt. <laughs> well, you guys know what it means if DRX wins this game. They wanted it more. Hmm. That's what I think. <laughs> yes, I, I think sir. it means it's time to go back to Heimer game five. Oh, 100%. and throw it for sure. Wow, King and actually into the last two fights. You have to, you have to secure the Heimer in first three. <laughs> Ooh, that LeBlanc Dude, that, jump back. That arrow was in his fucking head and he just w's back i hate the way arrow hitbox works it's so stupid the hitbox is in like the middle of the arrow not the tip yeah well that's how it works that, it's an enchanted yeah. crystal arrow oh. enchantment, is, uh, enchantment is like in the middle i see yeah the front part is purely cosmetic uh, yeah no, it's, that's, it's always that's ju been like just that. a crystal arrow Plus a 4,000 gold lead, so you can say it's about eight. Yeah, or thereabouts. Oh, bit of a slow. Wait, what? That's a good engage? Okay. Wow. Oh. The dragon is just too OP. This dragon. Oh, it's over now. DG. We're getting to game five. Silver scrapes. Silver scrapes. Oh, they're stabbing each other with the fucking soul. Are we going to see another reverse sweep? Potentially. Oh, not going to end. DRX is playing with their food. And they're just like recording. And they'll be like, yeah, we'll record your guys' faces in this room. I think so, yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm not 100% oh. it, but I... I'm pretty sure they no, you can't tell you when they're about to the show soul. you. It's, it's so cringe how they makes it so you literally can't move. Oh, DG. early cleanse, noob. Dude, Soren, you missed out when Dodo was like coaching. He was get, he would get so mad. Oh, over, over what? Over our games. Did I ever tell you guys a story of like one time we, we lost an LCS game. I go back to our room and there's a hole in the wall. So Ooh, I tweeted, but I took actually? a picture. Yeah, there's a hole in the wall. I tweeted out, like, I, I, was, I thought I was making a joke because like, I thought somebody had accidentally, like, you know, bumped something smashed in the, the yeah, wall. Yeah, like I thought, I thought an accident happened and there was a hole in the wall. So I took a picture of the hole in the wall and said, Dota got angry that we lost. And I, I tweeted it. I do and remember then, that tweet. Yeah. And then later, like, I, I, like, I got a call, call from the manager and they're like, why did you tweet that? And I was like, I was making a joke, and they're like, no, but, like, Dodo actually punched the wall. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit, I, like, I, I made up a story in my head, and it, it was, like, actually true, but I had no idea, because, obviously, I'm, I'm playing. The fuck? Yeah, that felt pretty bad. And apparently, Dodo got fined for damaging the LCS building. I mean, that's not oh. the biggest surprise. Usually, if you fucking punch a hole in the wall, there's It wasn't, like, a signature a next to the, the hole, like, <laughs> Dodo. Dodo was here. Regards, Goto. <laughs> Fuck graffiti. my team. 
<laughs> Double I switched like, on this game, though. Dodo. Fuck, dude. Says next yeah. time this is your face. <laughs> I've had a I've had a a post game in a, where I played at a stadium and I came back and in the bathroom there was a lot of broken glass. Oh, Someone was what? angry. Holy yep. shit. Was it the enemy team or your team? You you There's fucking toilet paper stories. everywhere, paper towels everywhere. Someone broke like one or I think one cup, two cups. I don't know. Just fucking slammed it into the bathroom floor. Oh my goodness. Who is the culprit? Your best guess. Say the name. Say the name. I don't know. All them out. Loco Doco. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Oh. Um, always. It, the I can't believe was... you did that, by the way. <laughs> what, dude? I don't know. He's not even really like anybody. No, it wasn't anymore. Loco. It wasn't Loco. Okay, that's not even like a, in the top five fucking things people like stories people have about Loco. Like it, it's, it doesn't matter. It's not making a dent. Hey uh, guys, you, is it time? You... Is it time to vod review the TSM balloon fight? Water balloon fight with Loco? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> no, please. I'm gonna cringe to death, but I'm down. I would, I'm but I'm just deep in an ARAM. Down. Check it out, guys. Hey, if we spent 24 hours filming all these videos, like, total. <laughs> all right, all right. Here, I'm at, I'm at in zero, the middle zero. of the season. In the middle of the season. Like, 24 hours straight in one day, like, like up we, at 6 a.m. until... We spent two different Mondays, and it was, like, 8 to 8 p.m., two Mondays in a row. Two That's fucked in a row. up. Yeah. I would screech. <laughs> and these videos got like 500 views, 700 Dude, views. I mean, I never even heard of them. They like, where were they posted? Them, right? Like, if they, if they made us promote yeah. them, then it's different. But it's like Geico fucked it up. Maybe they okay. just assumed I'm you'd ready, promote it on your own. Ready, ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's right. run it. You count it down. Oh, three, two, one. Let's go. Good evening, man. Been working on a team building exercise out back. Put on some of that gear and meet me outside. Senpai? Dude, they, they transformed our, our backyard. backyard into a jungle. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I kind of look like a badass, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, what is going on? Really <laughs> Pipples are in all different kinds of colors oh, too. <laughs> Crazy. Those are, those are massive ones. Who's winning? Wow, they have the hey, life bars. Skyco is really gaming. Better than I thought. <sighs> okay, their aim's all over the place, but let's just stay low. <clears throat> all right. I like the bandana look. You should bring it back. We'll zip this right up. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's mustard. Is that a chug jug? It's a musty Blue gamer. All right. Hmm. Oh, Dennis got a headshot. I feel like that what? didn't actually launch it. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're yeah. so unlucky. You didn't get to go on the team with Russell from Geico. I. I think I see why they didn't promote this video. <laughs> yeah, okay, this video is pretty dog water. Oh! I remember th this shoot had like 50 people working on it or something. It yeah. was like the, one of the <laughs> biggest shoots I've been a part of. It's really? If you can yeah. imagine just a regular backyard with nothing <clears throat> in it. Imagine being the person Where's coming up with this. They rented a house down the street for like uh filming another part of the video and they rented another house just for uh like makeup and wardrobe and all this stuff really it was crazy they didn't just have like a fucking rv or something to do that i don't know and look Why what came out of it these video game noises for it Good job, yeah guys. and it's a video game Soren, you're looking a lot healthier in this video. Yeah. This <laughs> Did you see the only comment? Oh, it was a minute ago. That, that was, was actually accurate. like one of the worst sponsor videos I've seen.
Like it wasn't cringe, yeah. but like it's just not entertaining, or or it doesn't even promote anything. It's yeah. like supposed to be a Geico thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just Question water marks. balloon fight with Geico slapped on the beginning. Yeah, but there's like no real purpose to it. Unless Russell is like the Geico guy, it'd be like if you had the Geico lizard in there or something, it'd be different. Yeah, or that's Gecko, true. That's true. Whatever. They want so what they wanted, they wanted Russell to be the Geico lizard analog for like Geico gaming. So like Russell was going to be like their spokesperson in like all of gaming, their like gaming marketing stuff. But they only ended up using him for that one thing, and it didn't do that well. So I mean, I guess that probably didn't do with it. Dumped but it. I think they were gonna have Russell do content with like every oh uh-huh. thing that they sponsored. Is Russell that guy? Yeah. I, I, the thing is, like, I don't understand why that specifically, like, they, they wanted that to be the mask. Because the guy called Gecko is, like, actually kind of, I don't know, he's, like, pretty cool. I remember being in, in Paris for the All-Stars tournament, but it was, like, the All-Stars tournament where you guys were playing. You were playing in the tournament. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and me and Jack went to McDonald's to get McDonald's for you guys. <laughs> and you all had really specific McDonald's orders. <laughs> like the most specific i don't even remember what it was but... mine was, is just plain like meat and cheese only i was like how did i they barely speak english at the at the counter like yeah how am i supposed to do this super detailed order it's dude <laughs> no dude I, I got fucked like that in korea like i, I posted the pic of it it was just like i'd say meat and oh, cheese oh dude and they, they give me no buns <laughs> <laughs> Like it, just a patty and cheese, <laughs> and I'm like, bro, bro, what? That's like, no that's fun. gotta be passive aggressive. There's no fucking no way they thought that's what you wanted. No, dude, that's just too funny, though. What the fuck? Fiora in game five is Fiora at game five, champ? I don't know. Yep. For Eastern Fiora is busted. I think must be, yeah. Absolutely perfect game five champ. Fiora is like the most OP and the most useless champ at the same time, I feel. <laughs> Pretty true. Yeah. I feel that. <laughs> so what's it I'm rise and chase game five smurf. champs? True. Rise? <laughs> rise and chase, yeah. Oh, We did that twice in tiebreakers. Oh, yikes. Spirit. What do you recommend? Doublelift is of the opinion that at Worlds, he never roots for any other NA team. Like, even when he's eliminated, he wants oh, to yeah. do badly. How do you yeah, feel about you're it? You're one of those scum. I I'm rooting for the boys, fucking... personally. <laughs> are you rooting are for the boys? trolling, by the way. <laughs> I'm not trolling. <laughs> no, the thing is that... For I, 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 I would root for the boys because you, you want the region to be good. Like, you don't want to play in a shit region. Yep. So even Rue. if I'm not doing well, I want my region to perform decently because the worse the region does, the more depressing it is to play in that region. Yeah. Exactly. Big if true. Okay. So even though it might be like, oh fuck, this guy's doing well, but overall, okay. I'd rather just have the region perform better as a whole and be more respected. Legit. Okay. 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 But don't I was you saying... want to be the one to bring glory to your region? Yeah. I mean, preferably, yeah, but... I mean, I was also I, saying... I, it, I agree with what you guys were saying. I'm just... I'm doing the double point of view. Exactly. The only correct point of view. Exactly, just, just to be yeah. Clear, but, but yes. Back medias. We're actually having a good opinion. That's not, that's not normal, but... Yeah, I've, I've learned if I just have the same opinion as Doublelift, I can also <laughs> always be right. It's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Is Double first strike change. karma good? Wait, I don't oh, know. Is this, is this the what AP the karma thing? Kora Dark was Harvest? Playing this. Dark Kora Harvest. was playing this where you would go first strike and then build like more AP than support. But I don't know. I'm not a huge believer. Or wait, Night Harvester, I meant. I yeah, feel like with Karma stuff. specifically, having having uh, Shrellies is pretty strong because you're just spam shielding people, yeah. getting the additional move speed off. Ooh, ooh. 
Jerkson, how many times have you done this Silas versus Akali matchup? Probably a lot, but it always changes in like subtle ways. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We've just seen it a lot, and I feel like watching it, I can never tell who's about to win the fight. Is it? Does it feel the same way when you're playing it, or is it usually pretty obvious? Well, I haven't really played it recently, like with the current builds and stuff, so... I'm not sure. Mm, gotcha. I think it, it's just a pretty spicy matchup, though. Yeah, the all-ins are But I think Akali, Akali is supposed to win early, but then it's like... Then since he's supposed to win early, he goes D-ring, which is a little bit greedier. And Silas is going D-shield, which might actually swing the early game matchup, so it's just... Every little mm. thing adds up in these matchups when people know them so well. That's true. That's big if true. What? Solo? Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Yes. No! The joke! Oh my god! No. What, what the fuck? Dude, he had no energy right Dude, you were right about the D-Shield. It swung it. You just never know who wins in this matchup. The D-Shield swing? That was a monstrous joke. What? what wait, Did he what, flash what, in with no energy what, or what? Should have done yeah. What should he have done differently? I, Oh, don't flash in when you don't have energy. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was something else. Like he could, he could just walk towards him and wait to confirm oh, that he has enough energy and then that? flash to you. Man, I, oh my every God. one of these matchups is like you're so much better off if you have the Sejuani on your team. Yeah, this is the shit Sej lives for. Feels so good to camp this kind of lane. All right, let's see this shit. God, that E landing. Wait, he Wait, has he it. Has he has it. it. He just doesn't kill, push does it. it. But like, or a CD. Or a CD. why? I don't think it was cooldown. Yeah, well, no, I think it costs. I think it costs a lot more energy. Let me see. Isn't really? it like, like, like more than more than half? It's really? a shit ton. Yeah, Holy it's, one, it's 115. 115 rank so he doesn't even have it. Holy wow. shit! I don't think so. That's pretty insane. Wait. Yeah, you're right. It's it's yeah. costing more than half each time. Holy shit! Well, it goes down by quite a bit uh, per rank. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking crazy. That is. And he, he gets uh, he gets. Oh no, he gets HP. I was gonna say he gets energy from ring. It's actually health. And then mana. Why doesn't it give energy with the OP? Uh, probably. Mm. Usually most things don't affect energy. Wait, what I guess uh, Presence energy? does. I don't know. Did Castro say he yeah. was one energy short? No way. That, that sucks. feels bad. Presence of mine used to give you max energy. That's when it was so broken. Oh. Wow. oh wow! And it all—all all of his advantage just evaporated right there. Yeah. Like, jungle diff up towards the top lane. JJ gets a kill up there, then back towards mid. Jungle diffy. A little bit, yeah. Viper's one of the only people who who is down to run Flash Ghost of Felios with with um. God, I can't even fucking talk. Fleet, Fleet footwork. Footwork. Yeah, he he just rushes security boots like. It's just like pure fucking movement Is this build. specific to the lane he's in? Like where there's a lot of skill shots you want to dodge? Yeah, he, he did it against Ezreal Heimer, if you remember like three games ago, and he did it against Ezkarma this game. So he's definitely oh, I doing actually it. do remember that game three games ago. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty crazy that you could remember that. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we both can. Years, I... Surprised. Yeah, that's a good... Good throwback. I remember those days. <laughs> <laughs> Simpler times back then. <laughs> those days. Oh! Piosik gets him. Yeah, Piosik, if you mess this up, you're dead to me. You literally uh. can't. Go, go for the double. Oh, really? Dude, he, get... he's got the the killing guns. You could easily have gotten Lulu's flash there. At least get flash out. But that was a weird ult, too, no? The Wait, opener? Is Lulu's staying? staying? Like, why, why didn't he go for... Mako? Nice flash. Oh, he's dead as fuck. Is wow. it? I don't think that was a nice flash. <laughs> yeah, or nice it was a bad, yeah, yeah. Okay, 
his flash was good in the beginning because he flashed two abilities, but it actually didn't matter. He flashed a Mantra Q and Viego W at the same time. Which is a bit of a misplay on DRX part, but it actually just doesn't make a difference somehow. Yeah, the, the opener from just a fucking ulting is the first ability he throws in. Was, wait, was he try was he trying to fucking knock back Lulu? Is that why? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's an okay angle. That. Oh, and wasn't Lulu ahead of Aphelios? I don't think he could have knocked him back, right? Is this, his ult we'll is see a slow right here. or not? Yeah, it's a big ass slow. Yeah, so it also I don't hate knocks that the way that he played it from the first target. Yeah, yeah, the primary so target. I mean, he he did knock him. Yeah, maybe it's good actually. I think it was fine. I mean, he could have went for Lulu. I after. think yeah. Karma might have gotten killed in the process. <laughs> so yeah. maybe if he, he starts knew. with W instead of ulti, I think there's a chance the channel gets knocked up. Yeah, I, I think it's good actually. I'll take it back. Has anyone ever like actually been long-term contract fucked? I feel like usually when I hear about it, it's just temporary. <clears throat> I think usually like one year maximum, yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot of the stuff that like just gets kind of buried. You know, a lot of players get, are under contract and like the team would rather keep them on Academy or would rather keep them on like a six-man roster than sell them as a starter to another team. Mm. And then it comes out later like, oh, like... They weren't even notified, or they're, you know, the owner just said a ridiculous buyout or some shit. Sucks, but I think it happens in every sport. Not that it doesn't totally blow, but. Yeah, all the other sports. Yeah, all the other sports like Dota and CSGO. Yeah, it happens to lots of athletes. <laughs> Chess, don't forget chess as well. Chess is dominated by anal beat enjoyers, though. <laughs> Did you see he's suing everyone for like four hundred yeah. million dollars total? Yeah, so I swear crazy. that number is just specifically to like, oh well, instead of getting sued for four hundred million, at least I'm only getting sued for four million now. It's just like to just. Give I mean, dude, a... if he got even close to a million off the lawsuit, he's fucking. Rolling in the deep. Yeah. I'm pretty curious how that one's gonna go. What if they actually find the fucking plug in his ass, though? Is that just damning evidence? He's, he's still wearing it when he's in court. <laughs> 100 million for each bead. <laughs> did, you, did you see the picture of them scanning his butt? Yeah. The map? Yeah. <laughs> the clip. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude. It's so crazy to think that whole meme started off of one streamer reading one Twitch chat comment in passing, and it just fucking <laughs> no, stuck. Really? I, I didn't even know how it started. Yeah, it was like, I, I don't remember which streamer it yeah. was, but he was just reading it. I think it was, <laughs> was it Chess Bra? Like, that dude? And he was just oh laughing, and he's like, yeah, God, he had a man. vibrating anal bead. Then some article comes out quoting him as saying he had a vibrating anal bead. <laughs> no way. I mean, it's pretty fucking funny. Can you make like a vibrating anal bead that like works without any metal in it though? Could you make it out of like plastic and like undetectable shit? Is that possible? <laughs> I mean, where's it getting the signal knowing how to vibrate? You could maybe you can make it vibrate, but it might not help you win chess. <laughs> Bro, the thing is, it's such a false fucking, like, it's such a diversion, like, what it actually, what it actually pro like, could be, right, is like, it's in his fucking, like, shoe, or the roof of his mouth, or like, you know, fuck, who knows, man, he has implanted in his scalp or some shit, but like, the fact that people are th thinking about the vibrating anal beat is too funny. <laughs> check his butt, check his butt. <laughs> check his butt. <laughs> it's just because it's funny. Dude, I feel like in League, in the very beginning of LCS, I was thinking, I mean, obviously, this sounds super sketchy, right? But I was thinking about how you could cheat, and, like, one way is to, like, have some shit in your shoe that tells you if the enemy is, like, doing a level 1 on you. Like, you have somebody in, who, like, sends a message through your shoe. Yeah, it'd be similar. <laughs> right, it, it would be so easy to do in LCS, and I thought about this because the security is so lackluster. It's like, they I mean, you can have someone mouse. in the crowd, too, now. Yeah, like, like, there's, like, so many tells. That would tells. be really obvious. Yeah. 
I mean, I feel like the refs would see you fucking like looking over your monitor at the crowd repeatedly. What? But no, like, you who the fuck looks at the crowd no, during no the game? Way. No one can really okay, see your eyes. I get my friend to sit in the front row of the crowd. And yeah, you just he, get an angle. Yeah, like it's he's in the front easy. row of the crowd and he scratches his nose every time. I don't know, like uh, fucking the enemy's cheesing me in the bush or something. Well, like, right? No, no, like, you, you, no, no. You do it like, like if you're trying to do level one, you like set a time. It's like all right, like right at one minute in game. I'm gonna look at you, and you're gonna do something if, yeah, like you're, you're gonna do this thing if they're doing a level one. And haven't you guys like? I've multiple times just walked on stage and been like, "Oh, my phone is still in my pocket." Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I think it happened to me once. How is my phone just still in my pocket? I haven't had that. You're supposed to find this shit. Oh, 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 oh. so fucking. Dude, I'm, oh my every God. time these two duel, it's like you don't yeah. know what the fuck's gonna happen. Legit. <laughs> it's every time. I'm, I'm still not convinced the players know either. Silas did they're, have his they're just item. Like, Fuck it, let's fight. Silas and a call had his didn't. full completed item, and Akali didn't, and it was still really close like that. Yeah, but I mean, Cran of the Shattered Queens, like half an item. <clears throat> oh, okay. It's pretty cool. I hope they go back to the uh, Zirin Corky meta next year, though. This is probably not what I want yeah, to see. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this skill matchup's just too crazy. No one really knows. We need something more determined and boring. <laughs> Dude. Deft? No. I want Malzahar to come Jay, back. Jay, Jay should have predicted that. Absolute noob. Did I see the Shroud story from CSGO where they would look after flashing to see if a monitor lit up? Oh, really? Wow, really? That's pretty fucking... Like, evil. Were they what? Oh. Like, th they throw a flash, and I guess they look at the other team's monitors to see if they're flashed? Is that yeah, what that Yeah, to oh, see like, if, like, someone actually got hit by it, so they know they're there. Because they can yeah. see it on the person if the screen is really bright, or what? Early, yeah, there's, like, some rule against that, right? Yeah, that has to be rule against that. That's crazy. But, like, wouldn't you have to communicate that with your team for it to be useful at all? Yeah. And then they would know you you were good. I, I feel like there should also be a ruin league where you can't look at your teammates' monitors when they're mortal to because it's gonna be pretty demoralizing. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one clip of someone who like had this look oh. of disgust at his oh. teammate after he got soloed by Mord. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh it's gonna oh. do so much damage! Oh my it's god. Second Akali as yeah, well. Go. Two Akalis. Oh. GG, GG, oh GG, GG, GG. Is it wow, GG? no fucking yep. way. Reverse sweep? Reverse sweep? Is, is LPL actually worse than LCK by... The, what the fuck? Holy... Is Fortnite overrated? Crazy. <laughs> we need the roundtable discussion for that one, Medios. Fortnite might be overrated. DRX wants it so bad. They <laughs> totally Almost want embarrassing it. how much they want it. It's not even finals, and they're sweating their balls off. Pretty cringe. The last time Deft reached semis was 2014. <laughs> Nine years Over ago. Over ten years ago. <laughs> the way the fight started was so good for EDG, and then they got womboed by, I think it's Silas and Deft Diego. Deft is just getting ran. Oh. Yeah, it's Silas and Diego just get the most damage off ever. Oh, that Viego ult. So many multi-man Viego ults. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it, it actually does not do very much damage outside of to the initial person. Like, it only yeah. does the base damage, not including... But this is always annoying. <laughs> Yo, cheerleader <Yeah>. deft. <laughs> cheerleader deft. Gets insta-killed. <laughs> but that's the best feeling in the world. Him! That's the legit best feeling in the world. I, like, dying Yay! first as a carry, and then watching your team win the fight afterwards. The camera's on, like, boys. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, if you get killed in a fucked up way, especially. Like, yeah. it went so deep to kill your ass. You're like, it, dude, it's right. way better to be a cheerleader than to, like, be upset about it or, like, sulk or complain, whine. Or oh, no, no. But what I mean is, like, it could, it's so uh, nerve wracking to die first in the fight as a carry. Like, because you feel oh, like yeah. you just lost a game for your team. And then you get that sense of relief, like, holy shit, my team clutched up. Like, yeah. So good. Of course you're not bitching them, but like, god damn it guys, I died again. 
like, oh, he instantly he's start. walk up in front of me. How are they just doing that? The, 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 the second you die, you do that <laughs> yeah, during the team yeah. fight. <laughs> How is he just walking up on me? <laughs> yeah. They did so much fucking damage, man. Jesus. <laughs> Dude, I would actually fucking rage if. Oh. Why oh. the fuck are we giving them a collie? Oh, it's Dude, over. Third solo oh, kill on Scout. Over. It's yeah. fucking Scout. over. Why is Scout even fighting? Fighting? fucking big right. of a revolt. Dude, is this? Is this build? Scout legit oh, no, chilling. It's really strong when we want it if you're still balling. The drive. I like going the drive on Seraphine too. Big haste. Zeka Silas world skin. But you really pick Jackson in a game five that you want to win? I'm not buying it. It's a Gen G waiting for whoever wins this, right? Yeah, it's Korean Civil War until the finals. Pretty sad, but. Which could again be Korean Civil War if T1 makes it. That's true, that's true. How weird is that if you're one of the Korean teams? It's like. Your entire world is just playing as other Korean teams. Yeah. <laughs> just LCK Genji. again. Genji could actually have a triple fucking Korean team gauntlet. They make it all the way. Yeah, actually, Genji T1 finals. Literally just LCK finals. Yep. Oh. <laughs> sad. So sad. Wait, that's cute as fuck. I never saw that. <laughs> oh, no, he got stopped. But why is he here, by the way? Oh, surely he gets the vital. Oh, oh, I don't balanced? think so. I did I not think so. I don't think, so. think Jax is a real champ. If, if that's the damage he's doing oh, in two items... Nah, oh, Jax is like a I don't know. Oh, oh my god. Four oh, solo oh. kills in one game, by the way. Dude, Scout's mega tilted now. Oh my god. Yeah. Did he really get so much under turret? exploded. Holy I'm fuck, I'm pretty man. sure Zekka is visiting Scout's mom this evening after the game. <laughs> Oh, he already did. Scout is legit just tilted off the the first death. He had Sauce him dead and then... so impressive, yeah. though. Yeah, that's true, that's true. He Silas? He feels so oppressive when... Dude, he's three levels up. Holy shit. Uh, when he gets ahead and you're playing into carry, it's like... Oh, yeah, I mean, he's... Pretty disgusting when he's ahead. It's like when you are hitting him, he's probably one-shotting you. If you're not, if he's not one-shotting you, he's in Zonia's. If he's not in Zonia's, he's dashing away and kiting you. I actually thought Silas on release was cooler than he afterwards, where they made him like just a giga healer. Remember before he'd have like his EQ combo, be all about like the double Q hit. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was pretty broken, yeah. Didn't he also have like better animation cancels on his passive? Oh. Ooh. 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 Hmm. They're not really getting oh. what they want on this engage. Yeah. Not the best timing on. Hey, bro. Wave. Oh. We know you're really fucking good, but <laughs> relax. I think the biggest the biggest factor in this five five is that Scout is completely useless. Like he actually won't even really be able to kill Ezreal at this point. Ezreal's pretty fucking huge. Oh, but I didn't barrel is trolling. Hunt. Barrel is trolling. What? No. What is he doing? So long to die. Wow. What the fuck? Wait, yeah, he might have got EDG in a bad spot. Why would you fight this if you're DRX? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, dude, Ez Ezreal is all is just you know one v five against them. I mean, they're not gonna have vision for the most part. I can't even without be on their support. <clears throat> it seems real risky to fight. Where is he keeping? I don't know. It was only support. Okay. Wow, they, they're oh. giving it. They're giving it. Yeah. The enemy team is just balled up and they're giving it. I guess from them, like, they know the game will be easier after this. Anyways. Oh, no. He started by Litzvain on Silas. He's feeling himself so much, by the way. Uh-oh. That item is a gigabait. He needs, uh -oh. he needs to fucking relax. That is a shit item. Yeah. Oh, God. Wait. Are they going to throw? <laughs> oh, shit. 
Please don't start trolling. Yo, he, he goes for solo fire. kill number five and and ends the whole game away. Calling it yeah. now. He's like, let's just do Baron, guys. I have Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> I kill it so fast. This kid's yeah. cocky as fuck. He built Sheen. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they're throwing. The macro here is so Yeah, this bad is actually well. scary. I'm actually getting scared. Wait, is this bad for spot. DRX? They're, they're getting bought. Fiora's yeah, flying it Jax. It's, it's fine. I mean, it oh. could have been bad. Oh. oh my god. That's I don't ulti. think he dies. Uh, wait. Oh. Wait, he does. He went back in. So oh. he's fucking mind control to go back in or what? Oh! Oh, oh. Wow. Viper! Oh! Oh, Viper is a beast. Dude, that was a hero play. Viper is That's so a, good at Aphelios. This is a Chinese Aphelios like tech that everyone had to learn this year. It's ulti Gale Force in and then yeah. Like ulti Gale Force in and then maybe like flash auto Q or something. Yeah, yeah. Just followed up by Gale Force in. I feel like in LCS the AD carries try to play Aphelios like he's fucking Jinx, where you're just like hitting front line, stacking no, yeah. lethal tempo. No, but the Asian Aphelios are just playing him like a First mage. Dude, Stedge yes. could have got out. Yes. Like, what? It, what is yeah, this? He, Why did he, he go back in? He fucking grieved. He didn't know who was around. What's this? <clears throat> he, he goes. He switches to blue, and then he just knows this is the time. God damn, dude. Big dick energy right there. If, if he was more fed and he had IE there, he probably kills them all. Yeah, his Q also missed deft actually. If he got an auto, up, barely, yeah. he could maybe kill. Hey, wait, he sold the Sheen? He's not cocky Holy as fuck, fuck he anymore. Hurt Dude, he's humbled. What? He's so humbled. <laughs> You're actually right. I mean, the fact that he made the adjustment mid-game, right? Like, he didn't double down on the fucking Lich Bane shit. Yeah, I think wasting gold's usually oh, wow. pretty good. Mega Baron, okay. Uh, Yo, Jax Fiora's versus Fiora? Jax is what? going in, doing oh. legit nothing. No damage. Oh! Wow, he's alive. Wow, he's making a lot of time. Him. Oh my god! Oh, he's he's gone. Gone. No way! Oh. Oh, oh, wait, Viper? Scott missed see. Scott missed Oh! He flash eed and he missed. Who flash eed? Scout. 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 Oh wow. Bro, oh. Viper's trying so hard to win. Oh, I yeah, no, but I think Zeka, Zeka might actually bad. start tilting. He might actually start tilting now. Yeah. He bought Probably. a troll item. They lost two fights. I mean, he got handed a fuck ton of free gold and XP, and the way he's playing fights is he's playing like he can't die. He needs yeah. to just focus on the same people as his teammates are and then just make some space. He's like trying to like solo kill the backline by himself. He should. I think right here he could have just killed Jax with his team and got his team the reset. Let me see. Look. Oh wait, yeah, his Vader. target almost. choice was. He almost got Lulu. Though. Wait. I mean, it's not bad what he's doing necessarily. Actually, it's just the fact that he got himself killed off of it. Yeah. He he definitely stuck around too long. I think that was it. It's pretty ugly. Yeah, I think he could have eat out. Yeah, yeah. Maybe his play is actually fine because he's buying a lot of time. He could just e over the wall and get out until the end of it. Yeah. Holy oh god. It looks so Yo. sus what Jax was doing. Oh, wait, Dude, this game's the problem, losable. The problem with Aphelios is playing against him at least. Oh. Is he steals like crazy. Ooh, oh. should he have just autoed there instead of trying to Q? Oh. Oh. That champ is so scary. I know, it's so cool, dude. A killable think, high damage champ? I think the flamethrower Q is a bit troll, to be honest. It's, Why? it's better just to auto. Then to Doesn't it count as an auto if you clip him with it? But it's so slow. Uh, like you just you're think you, you never get it there. You're doing it, and there's a cast time to it. Uh, hmm, yeah. If you can auto, then for sure. Wow, it's so sad to be DRX where you're in the driver's seat, but you're not close to Soul. And you don't have a really clear way to like end. What do you guys think outscales? 
difficult matchup for both top lane. Mm. I think EDG, no? Because of Ez versus Aphelios? I think Aphelios. Aphelios Lulu scales yeah. pretty hard this game. But that tips it super hard. Huh. He needs Lord Doms to really be able to blow up everyone. If he gets six items with Lulu, I think he'll carry. Yeah, I feel like it's not... It's not overwhelming, though. It's not like when you play against uh, Zero Yumi and it's like... I mean, it's not so that hopeless. level, sure, but... Yeah. Ooh, death cap Silas. They definitely don't just win when they yeah. get strong enough, but... Like, super high carry potential. That's, yeah, when does Scout high. become useful? He looks pretty fucking useless. Well, he's still three levels oh, dude, down, never. but it can't get any worse than this. Look at his items, dude. He's cursed. Is Shadow Flame the, the buy here when you're this week? Ooh, Oblivion Orb into Zonia's. <laughs> I mean, he's poor as hell. Like, then he's probably better. I mean, Zekka's capped on XP. It's it's not, it's only gonna get better, but there's only three no. minutes to farm up. Don't fight him. I didn't realize how much of a bot Viega was this game, though. He's level 13. He's two levels down from the enemy AD carry. I mean, he's not farming. Interesting comparison. <laughs> Fasting Viego to fed ass AD carry. <laughs> well. I don't know. I feel like usually the jungler stays at least a little bit even with the AD carry. What? I mean, if you, depends if you're like highly draft dependent. Not. I think, yeah. Oh. He's probably not getting many camps this game. Yeah. It's just that classic, just I mean, boys. It's a classic competitive scene thing that never happens in Solo queue, where the jungler hits two items and then never moves from that point. Yeah, I mean, because it's like you just want to be with your team. Because you start thinking, like, is it worth me going to my Raptors here when my, my like, bot lane could just legit get one shot on the wave? Or should I be there to, like, oh, help? Good angle for DRX. Wow, but no, they didn't pull the trigger. They didn't believe. I think they could blow Flash or something there. Oh, yeah, wait. Why did he go Hurricane Aphelios? Triple melee. He's, hmm. He knows he has to 1v5. He's going is for the Lord Inferno Dom's one not shot. Better? For that, this is super good, yeah, but I don't know. Holy oh my god, Nico's butthole is ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I'm so behind, guys. Yeah, I'm at up. 40, 42, 1, 42, 43. Yeah, I'm, I'm on lift. I'm on lift. He's on me. That was a little bit crazy on the day. Where are you at? I think he has to stay ahead. 50, 51, 51, 52, 53. Fuck, how do I catch up? Oh, I'll go two times on the YouTube oh. thing. Oh, We're yeah. getting a fight. Oh, he stopwatches the Viper ult. I mean, they weren't stacked, but... But... How does Viper just... always have blue gun? Like, he's had uh, red blue every yeah. single time they you fought. Just, you, you honestly just try your absolute fucking best to just to just get the perfect guns. He, he like, probably as thinks as it's the best right now. As hard as possible, yeah. Red and yeah, blue. just, I don't know. Some AD carry told me you can't really control the guns you have. I don't, I don't remember. <clears throat> I, I think, I think what is super overrated is the sniper. Uh oh. Wait, oh. no way. What? Oh god. King? No way. Yo. Such a win trade play. Bro. Yo, that's fucking drag, man. That's actually drag. That actually puts him on oh, soul point. Another Ezra ulti five man. I think PO6 should try hero steal this. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even kidding. It's worth it. It's worth it. Just try. Oh! Just try. Oh, he got it. Oh! EDG. Did they just walk away? No. They just Why walk are you away? not the question mark pinging each other after oh, that? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what the fuck? What's going fight? on? Are they actually yeah. gonna fight? Wait, why are they fighting? Trolled. I've trolled. Why are they fighting? Oh, it's Viper dead. And it works. Wait, it's winning. Yikes. It works. Yikes. It yikes. Works. yikes. 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 Oh, yikes. It's over. Ocean. It's GG. It's game. It's, it's over. over. Imagine you're king in right now. You just throw the fuck out of the game and then you get hard carried. Oh my wow. god. Nah. Can... That was so gross. Oh. It's a reverse sweep. Holy but, shit. But guys, guys, Deft had GA that whole time. Like, he had GA the whole time. He didn't time. even oh, die sure. once. Yeah, he didn't die a single time, but like, so even if he didn't die. Got GA, but why is Viego walking up and just smiting it? 
You didn't even have to flash or ult in. That was... Cool. Walks up. I think it's pressure. It's just like, it's game five, they're exhausted, and they're pressured. Holy shit. It's Viper and four bots. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Holy God, fuck, the number one depression fan. now. Dude, I think for a scout, that's literally the worst he's ever going to feel in his whole fucking life. That was pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, quite the bed shitting from scout that last game. Barrel manages to win World's Quarterfinals! <laughs> Only playing Toxic Range Champs. I was really expecting like a Velkaz supporter or something game 5, I don't know. Holy shit. You know, actually props to him for playing weird shit and making it work. Yeah. That's actually true. Whether or not the Heimer worked was, was definitely up for debate, but you know, he won. I think it did, well, it actually. pulled a ban in game five, so... <clears throat> yeah. He just wanted to the whole time. Work. He just yeah, wanted he just to pull a single ban. two to get a ban. <laughs> Draft advantage. You're a barrel hater, bro. I'm a barrel lover. Dude, I, I don't even hate him. Guy... It's just... I notice him griefing a lot when I'm watching. Maybe I just yeah. miss his pop-off games. I don't know. No, he does grief quite a bit. Damn. Not hard stuck orders. Uh -huh. Nine. Legit crazy. Dude, I hope fucking knew the that Zekka was a freak. Ever since playing, that guy has been playing like a total fucking. Oh, yeah. I mean. Demon. Definitely. Uh huh. Simmies. Quarters. 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 That's very similar to double lift. Uh <clears throat> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That... <laughs> just extremely consistent. I'm just saying, I was piss smurfing my Senna versus Ezreal game. I, ha I was Girl. actually up CS in that matchup. As Senna? Yes. Which That's game? impressive. The, dude, How did you even Senna get Rakan? CS? She doesn't really the, farm. The Senna Recon game versus Ezreal Karma is legit some of the best I've ever played in lane. It was so insane. We lost. Oh, is that the game? Is that the game where you didn't press send a W on my zillion bombs? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, what is this game? What, what, what game was it? Was the it? game where my mid laner was down 50 CS in 10 oh, minutes? I mean, oh, <laughs> that's wait, a fair the same point. game? Oh, God. I was not laning. Dude, I didn't go attack seed runes. I was trying to greet out the CDR runes, and then I just couldn't last it on a tower for shit. It was impossible. Oh, God. That's what you did? Oh, no. Yeah. I knew it was, was so good on Zillion, and then I was like, never again, guys. I'm going attack speed from now on. I can't see us on tower with double attack speed on Zillion. Wait, show or me the part no of this game where I didn't W off your bombs, you little Dude, bitch. Dude, it's a bot lane fight. I'll pull it up right now. Let's see it. Let's see the fucking <laughs> I remember. Proof. I remember. I'll never forget. <laughs> Wait, you're fucking... Tr what, what, are you, what are you talking about? I hit W off your fucking bomb in this fight. I'm watching a bottom fight right now, 2140. Oh, dude, yeah, I'm, I'm right there. I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up. Let's see. Oh, you did, actually, on Lilia. I fucking, I fucking W'd off your bomb. Hold Unless that's up. not the one you're talking about. Oh. No, no, you're right, you're right. You W'd him, but then you didn't do anything else. You didn't kill him. Oh. Let's see. Him double left. You dumbass. Yeah, you did W. But I remember, that guy should have died, bro. BDD is ulting on me, you bitch! Welcome I and auto attack him! Everything I could. Look, BDD's on the right side, just face forward on the left and auto attack the guy! You pussy! You, you, you walk two screens away, then you press ulti! <laughs> Was this, auto. Is this the same Vodder V you guys had? Of this game? No, yeah. you're what? fucking. Okay, I'm gonna show everyone. You killed this guy, right? If I you auto him, him. I could've killed him. I could've killed him. I yeah. Could've, I could've killed him. Happy birthday, uh, Deft. We also we also overlapped CC a lot with our cannon. Yeah, seven. we did, we did. But did you should have seen I, lane. As soon as I hit that bomb, you thought we I were felt like, win the game? I felt like we win. Yeah, I felt like we win. And then we didn't. Holy shit, Rascal flanked you guys hard. 
Yeah, he fucked us quite hard. I don't remember what happened. I remember after this, we just still can touch the dragon, even though we don't have any tools, and then we just get... We're slowly getting digged on by Ezreal. What does it mean to finally be back? Yeah, but yeah. Okay. what really matters though is that uh, I played lane perfectly. True. Pod gap. It's oh, wait, listen, listen, interview. 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 Wait, is that crying? Did she? Did Shock just make him cry? What the fuck? Shock. He said so. Getting carried to the semifinals once again. <laughs> How does it feel? Man. She said it was like 2,000 fucking days since he last reached semis or some shit. How does it feel? Damn. Def the goat. That'd actually be an insane story if they win Worlds. That would be pretty crazy. Fourth seed. LCK. That would be pretty crazy. DRX Heimerdinger. So my goal for this Worlds, you know, regardless of the result, even if I cannot win Worlds, I just wanted to get this impression that I'm making progress, I'm getting better. And throughout this fight game series, I kind of realized that I am getting better, so I'm so happy. And how? That's has so many fans. Dude, yeah. he's one of the fucking greats. Joshik, um, for you also, of course, a huge congratulations. Um, I want to. They ask even made a word after him. Five, the seal <laughs> near the end of it. That's and crazy. The final fight, and the moment you realized you would be making your semifinal. It's actually insane. They came back after losing that one HP. That game. Yeah. That's so insane. It feels so much worse if they full lost that series after that. Yeah. Yeah, we were in a very this rough start. Might be the best worlds ever. Pretty good. Of the beginning of the game three, actually. So good. Yeah, normally the like quarters and shit's not very close. Ignore how the West how the West did. If you just kind of ignore that for the most part, then yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say if A teams were there, it'd be a little better. <laughs> Maybe if, like double lift and Bjergsen were up there. Oh, cheating on him. Also, well, in the game number five, the last team fight. Hating our CC perfectly. I was a little bit, you know. You know, just hitting our Ws off double bombs. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> last hitting under turret early game. <laughs> All right, boys. I gotta take my dog out, so I am gonna head out. GGS. See you. Okay, peace, bro. GGS. Later. See ya. Um, now, Pyoshik, um, in the LCK broadcast, Jison told me, and I went back to check, but there is something called the Pyoshik ceremony, uh, meaning that... What <laughs> does that mean? Whenever you win a game, you no actually clue. do an impression of... Nine lives. Oh. Would you please do this for us today? Oh my god. <laughs> What's he gonna choose? Should we take his mic, or...? And what are you gonna do? Oh, he does like a physical? That'd be like a voice <laughs> line. <laughs> he always does impressions. Do it. <laughs> Wait, who, who is that Lee? Oh, what who, is who, that? that? <laughs> who was that? Who was that? Guys? It's the kindred dance? What was it? I'm not going to tell you the guy. Aphelios? <laughs> Aphelios Q? This is me as Viego after taking down Viper's Aphelios and ah. turning into Aphelios. Oh! Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? He did something so <laughs> <He's> specific. <insane. laughs> that was great. Thank you so much for He's that. He's like, this um, is Death hitting the Nexus and, and then the inhibitor respawning. <laughs> 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 Someone unfortunately that has to be at the losing end as well. And at the other side were two people you know very well, as well as an organization you cherish. Is there anything you'd like to say to Scout and Mako? 
But how do they end the interview on that question? And then they're like, how do you feel about Scout and Bacon? Why do you think they're feeling right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dance that me, monkey dance. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the serious interview. Um, I do not think we are done yet. The crowd here in New York, you started something before the interview, and I'd like you to do it again because something is coming. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You got him a cake? Uh -huh. Whoa! They really brought out the cake. Oh shit, what flavor dough? I don't think I've ever won on my birthday. It's just cursed. I'm surprised you won. <laughs> When's your birthday? Oh, they've taken it away, but congratulations. February 21st. One more time, Pioshek, Deft, and DRX. Oh, wow. What a fantastic I thought it'd be near group right stage time, but. We're going to kick it over. You know. The world's cool down. <laughs> you little shit, double lift. <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> well, I mean, it sounded like it was a really important <laughs> match. Fuck February, who cares, man? I mean,. Your birthday's nice, but like spring split early on. <laughs> yeah. What do you True. think about spring split? It really matters. Uh, it it only matters when there's MSI. It's okay? a pretty big deal, right? It's yeah. a huge deal. It's a huge deal. Every competitive match is equal. Whether yes. it's lock in or worlds, it doesn't matter. Thank As a you. You take them all seriously. This message was paid for yes. by the LCS. <clears throat> Your co-streaming right. rights have been re-granted. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a corporate uh, business move. My god. That was actually sick. I was falling asleep during halfway in, but then it got pretty Yeah, insane. me too. Game two, game three. So oh. sleepy. Yeah. Uh, it, it, got, it got me hyped, dude. Holy shit. That actually, this, this made me want to play League. Looking right. forward to it. <sighs> Thanks for my hanging way. out all four days and two days for you, Mr. Sneaky. I'll see you guys later, maybe for semis. Oh, oh, maybe. oh maybe, of course. Wait, you said wait. I said okay. Oh, you said okay. I said oh, okay. Okay. All right. See you guys. Later, guys. See ya. Peace. Sparrow really going in with oh! Oh! one HP. He can't oh, wait. Oh! Depth is on the next disc. Wait, wait, Depth is on Nexus. No way. Wait, Depth is on Nexus. It's over. Wait, it's over. It's yeah, he actually win. Uh -oh. Holy. What? Yeah. Minus one. No. Oh my no. god. No. No. no what? Oh my no god. Way. No. Oh no shot. No what? Dude, no I, th I thought shot. that was a bug. I was no like, way. why is it the game not like exploding? No way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my That's fucking so fucking God. crazy. I think PO6 should try Hero Steal this. Yeah, I mean. I'm not even kidding. It's worth it. It's worth it. Just oh! try. First try. Oh, they got it! Oh! EDG! Did they just walk away? Oh. Walk Why are away? none of them pushing each other after oh, that? Viper. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what Viper. the fuck? What's going fight? on? Are they actually going to fight? Wait, why are they fighting? Trolled. 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 Why are they fighting? Oh, and Viper dead! And it works! Wait, it's winning. Yikes. It works! Yikes! It yikes! 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 Oh, yikes! It's over. Ocean it's GG. It's game.